Hey, folks, just a friendly reminder that all shows on the Madness Comic Network are produced by their individual hosts and in no way reflect the opinions of the network as a whole. The statements in the following broadcast are not necessarily the opinions of the Madness Comic Network, its staff, sponsors, or contributors. This show is rated TBMA, as are all of them and all those other letters. Viewer discretion is highly advised, and, you know, just do what Doc says. Read that again. Peace, everybody. magazine is just really pulling out all the stops man your guys's production value of this of this magazine has gone insane i mean look at the i mean i remember when you guys it was black and white even when it was black and white i thought your quality was great but damn they have just i mean they just really stepping it up and on look at this. james corbett boys james corbett genuinely cutting um but also funny and obviously just chaotic and and very fun i love flip city it has brought new types of badassery and integrity to the print medium Mr. Chris, what up? Also, Chris Kale from Rock and Roll Band Five Finger Death Punch. Heard that you're about to launch your newest board game, Gods of Metal, where you take on the persona of different metal musicians to stop the overlords and their demons from taking over reality. I think I know a metal musician that can help you fight those overlords and those demons. That is me, Chris Kale. So, shout out to you, Chris. 
Shout out to all of the Laughing Rogue crew and shout out to Gods of Metal. Uh, I will be in there taking over reality from the demons and the overlords. Chris Kale, just like it says there on my hat, in case I forget, I do play bass. <laughs>
Were you driving away? I think we had gone to a couple houses to just like fill out the time because we knew we were wrapping up and we didn't want to mm -hmm. go into the house yet. And of course, yeah. neither one of us want to go in the house first. I don't know why. So it, it, yeah, we don't trust. Pleasant. Oh, Mr. Doctor, thanks for joining Doctor us. Here. We've got Doctor. some plans for Doctor. you. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my uh, my my keyboard batteries were out. <laughs> I couldn't copy and paste the link. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have some fun today. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm glad um, you're here for the recap because hang on to your butt. <laughs> yeah, so so last time you casually walked over to your friend Ellen's house, uh, Miss Karen, and she uh, offered you some of the greatest macaroons that, that, that uh, Costco could, could provide. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and And there was an upsetting interval where um, Ellen was also walking back up the walkway. So you, you had other, two Ellen. The other Ellen, yeah. One of them tried to stab you. Yeah, what the hell? And, and you managed, but you managed to get away, come back to Dante, and, and you've been exploring the houses ever since. And, and what was Caroline's house? Why were we here? Remember there was an ambulance earlier? Mm -hmm. We were, what were we doing? We were outside doing something and there was an ambulance. No, there was a cop. That's right. The cop came and was telling Dante not to like, you know, jump into people's pools. And while well, we were he, outside, an ambulance went that. by to Caroline's house. He does so that. We were gonna I don't check know it anything out. about that. Nothing. Lies. <laughs> you are so he... trying to get us arrested. I know. I know. All I recall is I went to bed in my house and I woke up with somebody screaming at me that it wasn't my house. And in fact, it wasn't my house. What the hell? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we will get right to that, too, then. Um, so, yeah, you two are poised to take a step inside uh, Miss Carolyn's house to see if anything was going on here. Uh, and then we'll then we'll get with with the doctor getting assaulted in what he believes is his own house and yeah sure <laughs> i mean it was my house when i went to bed that it Check. that it was that it was i had the keys yep yeah you went inside you went you went to bed woke up with somebody screaming at you a little bit <laughs> funny how that happens my, my wet was there i had my gin i was good to go mm-hmm I had a nickel for every time I woke up in a stranger's house. It'd be two nickels, but it's still really weird. Yeah. I was like, how many nickels? <laughs> <laughs> it's only two, but it's still weird that it happens twice, you know? Um, uh, yeah. So one of the first things you two notice is that she doesn't have decorations up, which does, I don't know. That pisses Karen off, and she won't admit it. <laughs> see, I, was, I, I wasn't sure if it would or if Karen would see oh, it yeah. as like oh, yeah. one that's, less that's competition. A, that That's an affront to her. You're not part of our plan. You're not part of our game. You're not part of what no, we're No, she doing. wants them to decorate so she can then deny them the win. You see? You see? Uh, okay. There is, uh, there is a other way if they're not part of it. You see? You see? It's not fun to you know be the winner if no one else is playing. Wait till they see the decorations I left in that pool across the street. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Baby Ruth? <laughs> Pretty sure that's not supposed to be in there. Yeah, right, right there in that pool is a couple of... Uh... Somebody's been watching Caddyshack. <laughs> One of my favorite movies. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> No, stooping. Be your future daddy. So, how would you like to get into this house? Oh, uh, the door was already open. We had pushed yeah, it, it was open. open. 
Remember? We had I, pushed. No, I wanted. Look, I in. wanted to see if you remembered. Oh yeah, I remember. I'm just, I'm saying, that's when that's when Karen was like, "Hey, hey, let's throw Ellen in first. <laughs> okay, and I backed up. Not, <laughs> I'm looking over at Ellen. I'm like, should I wave? Yeah, you can wave now. <laughs> hey, Ellen, come on over here. <laughs> So we'll put you out here on the front porch. We'll move the doctor off to the side. Um, you sure you want Ellen coming? She, yes. That was that was her um um your your girl's plan. That's Take my plan. Door, okay, so. okay. Just gonna. Take I didn't me. have anything to do with it other than I'm luring her in. Come on in. Come on. Oh, I can't move my I can't move my token. I can't either. It yeah. makes it scary when a when a game master says anything like. Are you sure you want to do that? Mm -hmm. Usually that makes me go, oh, hell yes. Whoops, I almost made Karen Dante. That would have been a little awkward. Yeah. Oh, I would have. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a pool nearby, Karen? Yeah. <laughs> Is there a pool I can defecate into? He, he didn't say anything about making Karen Dante, though. You see. <laughs> no, give Karen all the control. That would be great. The, mm -hmm. uh, the true horror <laughs> starts now. <laughs> right? When Karen she, she is in does control. not need this 9 millimeter. I'm just saying. Dun, she dun, doesn't dun, dun, need it. No, I don't. I got my own cattle prod and I got an axe now. So mm -hmm. I'm good. See? See? She does not need it. I tell you, that turtle is going to crawl out of this tank and, and, and drop on the floor again real soon. Makes me drive you insane. But um Ellen What's the girl's name, Chris. Uh Dr. Bentley Von Doom. Dr. Bentley Von Doom. I like that. Yeah. I like yeah. That. If you ever played the the game Sly Cooper, the turtle in there, his name was Bentley. Mm -hmm. And then my kid, the one that got the turtle, actually liked, you know, Dr. Doom. So he named it Dr. Bentley Von Doom. I used to have a wolf mix named Baron Vladimir Harkonnen Lee. <laughs> yeah, my sister a has wolf. a cat named Charles Xavier. Bon. Tweet. So Is he bald? <laughs> <laughs> Only things you can name Xavier have to be bald. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a tuxedo cat. Uh. <laughs> oh no, right. it's hey, Ellen, come here. I I know you know what happened over here earlier, Ellie, because you came from this way when we were at your house. Because I saw so, you coming out the window. So what happened over here, Ellen? I, I have no idea what happened over here. The last thing I know is is she was in my house running around uh, no, no, fighting fighting that. with people. No, 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 no. Before what? that, I was in your house and I see you coming from this way toward your house. So you were over here when the ambulance was here. What happened here with Caroline? That's what we're wanting. You were here? I was you here. were here. You were honey. Here. Honey. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't anywhere near. Then where were you? I was home the whole time. You were not home the whole time. That clone was in there. That clone okay. that tried to kill me. I didn't see a clone. Is what? that the clone? I saw you fighting with something. Yeah. And then I got knocked down by the cop who, I don't know where he went. You're kidding. Unbelievable. Yep. Just un. Unbelievable. It is unbelievable how people break into your homes. Speaking of which, what are you doing here? What are you? We're just, <laughs> um, Dante. Yes. Explain, explain to Ellen why we're here. Ellen, we're here because we saw you come from this way. There was an ambulance here. We would have never ended up at your house if we weren't heading here. But your house had weird shit going on too. Okay. So, we're here now. You're here now. Didn't I see you getting out what of a pool earlier? What What happened here? We know you were here. Just tell us what happened. I don't know. Okay, Karen. Cattle prod. It's all you. What? No, 
no, no, no, no, no. I'm, I'm out of the way. It's all you. You're Aaron. trying to be nice, Dante. So yeah. um, what I think happened uh, earlier was that the um, cat, the cat escaped and we needed to check inside the house if the cat was still there. Speaking of cat, would you mind, you probably have been in Caroline's house, right? Oh, of course. Doesn't she have a cat? Uh, not that I know of. Dog? Does she have a dog? Maybe. I meant dog. I totally <laughs> meant dog. Oh, well, um, gosh. Yeah, really cute <laughs> dog. Um, <laughs> can you just check to see that the dog is okay? I'm really <coughs> concerned about this dog. Well, let's knock and see if she's here. Knock, knock, and and of course, no, she's not there. The ambulance had to take somebody. Come on. Shh. Come well, on. if you I saw her go away in an ambulance, why you? Why do you? No, want the here? dog. The dog. We wanted to make sure the dog is safe. Give a. Uh, Just sticking your head in there real quick and seeing if good old Rover is around. <laughs> Rover. Let me help you. I, I, I can just tell that. Boot. Uh, <laughs> I can just tell that she I'm loves. Just booting, I want to boot so her. Much. In. Boot her. So I'm just grabbing a, a uh, something real quick. Merged. I'm out here watching for. I, I got. I, I was gonna say I got started a little late because I had I had company coming over. So, uh, but yeah, give me an empathy and persuas <laughs> persuasion. Okay. Persuasion first, okay. Yeah, just see if Aaron. What does this game go in the negatives by any chance? <laughs> but she got a nine on her on her persuasion, three on the empathy, of course. Because I mean, come on, but she has none, yes, yes, yeah. yeah. But she That's... does convince you that she does convince Miss Ellen that 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 poor dog, that poor dog, may be in there starving. Or something. We just or need something. to just make sure that he's okay. Well, Why she don't did you go in. She did give me a key from when she went on vacation last year. Let's see if we. The door's open. Just go boot. in. Yeah, I was gonna boot her in if that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, no, no, yeah, no. So she'll go in, start looking around. Uh, the first thing you notice is it smells musty, like people have not <laughs> been here for. For Karen, for Karen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> accurate. Yeah, about it. Yeah, her uh, her her so called persuasion is nothing but intimidation. Mm hmm. She's good yeah. at it. Everybody else is a stepping stone. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you, you notice it smells kind of musty. All the lights are out. Like somebody has not been here for a while. Boom. <laughs> Did you just boot her in there? Yes, I, I did. did not. I did. Why? <laughs> she was already in. <laughs> no, no, I think he means you. Me? How dare you? I know, huh? You can do a force and strength to try to shove her in. That's what I just did. I, I, put I don't see in, the so roll. Even I was there. I'm going to try and reverse it so he goes in. What do I have to roll to... Hip of <laughs> judo throw. <laughs> Same thing. We'll just we'll, we'll just do an opposed force. <laughs> Two opposing forces. Well, force is my D eight. Well, you got a six and an eight, so that's two successes mm -hmm. for you. One for Damn. her. Karen stumbles into the uh, into the foyer, and uh -huh. knocks over a fake potted plant. Ah, you're clumsy. Tacky. Real tacky, Dante. <laughs> and I don't understand why you had to push me. For peace. You were in my way. I just asked, in your what? Don't you understand basic communication? You're so rude. Rude. All I just, you just gotta, okay, fine. We're in now. Are you coming? If they would have tied, they would have definitely tumbled and. Both uh, fell in. Tumble to the ground, and then they'd say, I think we're alone now. But that's a different. Ew. 
There doesn't seem to be anyone else around. No, except for this Ellen chick. Ellen, did you find the the uh, cat dog? What's his name? Fluffy? I don't remember the dog's name. She Neither. she must have got she must have gotten it recently if you saw it here because I don't remember her having one. Oh, uh, I thought you said there was a dog. <laughs> it might be in one of the bedrooms. Oh, it must be so scared. Which bedroom would you like to check first? One at a time. How about you go check? How about you check uh, at the end of the hall, and we'll we'll check over here in the kitchen at at, okay. at these other rooms. Yep. Yep. We'll do that. Okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to stay by the door. Go over here in the corner. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I'm going the way that she asked me to and then just stay here while she goes. <laughs> so you're just going to stay there? Okay. I'm just going to stay where I'm at. <laughs> Nobody while she goes. While she goes. I'm going to kind of keep an eye on her. How are you doing that? By being over here looking at her. So you're both just creepily staring at this person as, as they no, are. No, no, uh, I'm pretending to like walk, pretending to walk over nowhere. Yep, totally going right <laughs> here. <laughs> yep. Well, it, we, we can go check, we, go check it out, Ellen. We can see the dogs not in here. I, I'm gonna go so we, to this. There's a hallway over. There's yeah. That, I'm that's gonna, a, that's a okay. Closet. Shh. It's a door. I was gonna <laughs> check it out, but fine. All right, I'll go this way. Right. Yep. Gonna go down the hallway right here. I'm gonna I'll check this room. Okay. I'm gonna boot Dante into the hall because he started it. <laughs> What you doing, little one? I'm booting, booting Dante into the yep. hall. Just waiting to hear what he's doing. Mm, I'm going this way. Go in the bathroom, shut the door, lock it. <laughs> okay. Well, you know the dog's not in there if there if there was one. Um. Have you looked behind the shower curtain? Have you ee, ee, the mirror? Always check the mirror. Beetle, Beetle. The dogs name three times in the mirror with the lights off. <laughs> She's yelling, Karen, I found something. Oh, great. That's great. Tante, get out here. <laughs> we'll be there in a second. Tante. Sorry, I'm going to be busy for about five minutes. Hurry. Days. Hey, pinch it off, dude. We got stuff to do. Let's go. Lord, pinch it off. It's not Dante, not it is not a time to take a shit. I want to get out of this house. Get over here. You better go find out what she's yelling about. <laughs> Hi, Ellen. Where, where are you going? Ellen? Dante! Ellen. Ellen, I don't know what to do. Ellen! Big thud from in this room. Oh, bye. I'm going outside. Um, I'm going to just head out. Bye, Dante. You're on your own. <laughs> so I'm on the porch. Um, do I see Mr. Doctor wandering around? Not yet, no. Darn. But we're going to leave that Can where I it's sitting. My cell phone or something? Yeah, leave you me could, you... where I'm sitting. Right? You could try. And while you're I'm, trying, I'm just gonna stand on the porch and scream. <laughs> well, that, that's a way to go. <laughs> that's all I got. This is a restream now. Hmm. But speaking of the doctor, uh, and unfortunately, I don't have a map for your um, place. But you're not place. Yeah, what is it? Place? Well, that's the kicker. You you wake up and you're kind of groggy, of course, as you usually are when you're waking up. And you hear this person screaming at you in your face, get the hell out of my house. What are you doing here? And you, you did say I recognize that it is, in fact, not my place once I've gained some sort of coherence, correct? Yes, yes. At, once you get the... Uh, By the way, Lupin... 
excellent work on the Dante Karen art. That was amazing. I loved it. <laughs> so, uh, flabbergasted. I realizing somehow I'm in the wrong house. The doctor assumes that perhaps he drank so much gin that he slept, walked, or had a blackout, and somehow found his way into somebody else's house. And I, I just run, trying not to get beat up. And uh, you're welcome. I, I get out. I get outside very befuddled, and I start to take stock in my surroundings. Am, am I in a new neighborhood? Is this um, my side? Is this the right address on the mailbox? There's some good questions. Yeah, everything else looks looks the same. The address is the same, but where your house was a a uh, what do you want it to be a two story? Oh, uh, two -story house, I believe you said. Yeah. It's now it's now a single story ranch, which is you know technically a one and a half story, but yeah, it's a it's a ranch home now. Uh, what did you do, Richard? Um, hmm, uh, the address is the same. It it is your address. Uh, if you want to pull out your remains of your wallet that Karen yeah. hasn't borrowed, um, <laughs> it is. It. No, it's definitely the correct address. All right, I'm I'm going to go back to the door and knock on the door and risk this guy's ire. Now that I'm I'm feeling a little carish in a way, it's like what? I'm going to go. I'm going to go get me some coffee. Try not to die before I get back. No promises. Karen now, might. Sand was that here. Lose it. But Breaking into to my house wasn't enough? Well, look at my driver's license, man. It, it's a good forgery, sure, but I've lived here for years. I, I entered this place with a key. I want to try the key in the door. No, it doesn't work. It does? Uh, no, not even a little bit. No. This is... Oh. Like you, you, you have a master lock. That's a quick set or something. You know, it's it's completely different. All right, this is all terribly, terribly confusing. I I wasn't drunk until after I got in the house. Good thing to remember. Yeah, you, you don't were, have you were sober as a judge before you got there. Yeah, I'd finally gotten away from that that woman and that burnout. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm walking away confused. I'm like looking at my my uh, my ID and the address. Is like this doesn't make any sense. I'd, I'd assume you had a vehicle because you were you were our doctor after all. Getting well, into town. Is it my vehicle in his driveway? I'm thinking it's probably not. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, you don't even see your garage anymore because that doesn't exist. Um, that's definitely not your car. But it is your address. He gads. <laughs> he gads. I'm right. homeless. Yeah. I'm homeless. I'm like those people in that part of town that I never used to go to. <laughs> Till you needed the drugs. I'm. I refuse to poop on the street. <laughs> also gross. <laughs> Either that or a pool. I mean, you've got you've got options. You could just hop in a pool. There's I plenty to hop in any, any I old pool. Of the uh, the neighborhood yet? <laughs> right. So I'm gonna go back to the only place I know. Look, do you need a ride or something? Because you don't seem well. We can take you to a doctor. Well, I, oh, I, ha, I, ha, ha. <laughs> all right. Um, this is going to sound maybe strange, but I am the doctor. I'm the new doctor in town. Hmm. wonder what happened to Dr. Fastbender. 
all I know, all I know is uh, I, I found this place online. Mm -hmm. uh, Fassbender. Local Gazette said there was a, a need for a, a new doctor. And I, I set up shop. I'm, I'm recently from the West Coast. Oh. <laughs> what does that mean? Nothing. Nothing. And this oh, is, so I, you know, I'm a good law-abiding citizen. I, I changed my address as soon as I got into this state. And this is supposed to be my address. I mean, it's, it's what's on is Ashton Kutcher anywhere? Am I being punked? We don't we don't know who that is. Um but he used to mess with a lot of my former clients. <laughs> oh, he was a narcotics officer. Okay. Oh no. Uh sure. <laughs> <laughs> I said no. Orthotics, right. He he certainly gets around. Would you like us to call the police, have them give you a ride, or or call somebody for you? You know, the police would have the resources to sort this out. That sounds that sounds fabulous. Fabulous, yes. As, as long as it doesn't involve that woman or that burnout. I, I, I don't know who they are. So <laughs> I, I, I can't call them. You you are fortunate beyond all measure for not knowing this fucking drug he calling me a burnout you believe that <laughs> <laughs> you don't know he's calling you that yet <laughs> i'm not a burnout i'm still a fully functioning licensed physician you're a guy who shits in pools so there's that ah <laughs> how do you know you weren't there yeah we weren't even around <laughs> we are, we're, we're having metatextual conversation in see, see, right see. Me uh, so many drugs, you think you know what I do. So so we'll say the police show up and, and offer you a ride back into town. Uh, no, or... tell, have the police give him a ride to his house. Show him their ID. Yeah, <laughs> um, this is going to sound rather pathetic, but I'm lost, even though I have my address. <laughs> Could you please find my home? Um, according to your ID, this is your address. Yes, and according to this gentleman, do you do you know this fellow? Not personally, but you you've seen him around town. Oh, I'm sure we have. I'm sure we have. Well, I was going to say check his ID, but I doubt he has the power to transmorgify a house into something else. Let's do a different type of house. He goes, I'll show you. And sure enough, his his address matches yours. It is the same address. It's just, this is his house. I think this is a lover's quarrel. And neither one of these guys want to admit that they're gay. <laughs> now, look, that was, that was only that one time. <laughs> In band camp. Uh, no, no, it was it was actually a, an event. Uh, you know, there there might have been some Luciferian rites or something. It was all very Hollywood. Uh, you know, they they don't like to call them this, but it was a you know a, sort of a sex magic ritual orgy thing, and it was it's a good place to network. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell Madonna, I said hi. But so he's saying, uh, yeah, this is this is clearly you're saying you don't recognize this house. No, and as a matter of fact, my car isn't here, my second story isn't here, my garage isn't here. Um, how about we go down to the station and get this all straightened out? Yes, I would. I would very much. I crave normalcy, like you cannot possibly believe. Are, are you Are you willing to submit to a drug test? <laughs> because you know, uh, well, you know, as a as a physician, uh, I do have the. Uh, I'm I'm licensed practitioner and. You know, I can 
I can prescribe myself and, uh, you know, I, I don't want to give you a false positive on things because sometimes drug interactions, uh, over the counter, uh, drugs <laughs> here. Uh huh. Yeah. It, it, Take a lot of Advil, do you? <laughs> so, so you're saying there's a chance you misremembered where, where you're supposed to be. What, but the address, man, the address. Yeah, and it doesn't say north or south. It just says this street with this number. Yeah, and now this, do you do you think there's any possibility that are you one of those towns that has like repeating streets on the north as you do the south? It it, it can be very confusing at times. If you if it should ever... say that you know what it should say that on your on your license on your on your ID. But let's take a drive. All right, all right. Let's yes. Does drive. the other guy's ID say south or north? Just no, just... no. He's just trying to get this guy into the car to get him away because he thinks he's insane. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh. He's like in his head. He's like, we can't take him to the asylum because somebody burned that down. It burned itself down. It We're just burned. Gonna... <laughs> So he'll take you slowly driving you down the street. Um, you, Is that you, when I'm running out of the house screaming? Not yet. No, oh, we'll get there. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be prepared. Yep. Surely, surely you know that uh, I'm, the, I'm the new GP in town. Uh, I know you had previously had a doctor, uh, a doctor fastener or something. Uh, mm -hmm. Fast bender. Yes. Dr. Freak. His first name was Michael. Yeah. Mm. Right. Good old, good old, good old Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, fast bend over or whatever. Um. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. No, uh, no, no professional um, relation. I've, I've never seen him at the conventions. Um, gotcha. Well, hey, uh, it, it's good to have you here. I, um, how long how, did you just get into town? Uh, very recently. I've, I've only just got the shop uh, set up and my, my lodgings established. A, a nice little hmm. two-story uh, somewhere. Those are nice. Those are nice. Uh, maybe, and, and it's a possibility, maybe they did mess up on your on your license. So let's let's go to... We'll drive up and down this road for a minute. See if you recognize any of these homes. And give a wits observation and see if you recognize any of these homes. Okay. Uh, now, the new character sheet. It doesn't seem to have. Um, <laughs> Caroline's house. Come what? Caroline. what? We're working. I just can't. We're, we're I can't. working. Having some PTSD. The moment. Just need to. Where's my cell phone? Hi. Let's see. It doesn't work. He didn't pay your bill. Hello. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I don't know if you have this anything or not. Well, the 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 sheet. I've got the sheet. Um, but it, it's. It looks kind of blank. It looks like all the values are zero, so it doesn't have. Oh, gee, I don't know what happened with that then. Well, like my house, it's disappeared. I guess. Mm hmm. Uh dude, I don't want to make a character sheet now, so we'll just give you. Yeah, so uh, like I know my my card here says wits or B. Uh, yep. Observation. Here, what would you like? A B, D, or a C for that? Because we'll remember it for when we do the actual character sheet. Oh, wait. He didn't get his experience upgrading everything anyway, so you might as well just make him a whole new sheet. That's what I was going to say. We'll do that, and but we'll I'm not, just not right back, now, of course. Right. Go back right. to the doctor card. Yeah. 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 Uh, give a B and a C. So a uh, yeah, 10 and an 8. Okay. 10 and 8. We'll do that. Mm -hmm. He needs that Etsy stat. That's her weed, is Etsy and Pinterest. So, seven total. 
Uh, so then, no, you uh, you actually can't recognize any of the houses at all as you're driving by. Come on, I want him to recognize now, the lines. That's my house. We're not there yet. I'm trying. I tried. I ran out the door screaming again. And I'll just hear some awful. I must have missed my moment. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm I decorating the bathroom because, right now. Hold on. We started off here when we last left said doctor. Um, right. In the town square. Mm -hmm. He, you guys went up here to the residential neighborhood. He went off this side. Yeah, I so, slipped away when I saw the opportunity. You guys mucking about in like the general store and whatnot. <laughs> right. So he is going to have to come back through town to get up to you. And that's we're over here now. Mm. Speaking of, you didn't recognize anything over there, but you pull into town. Are you able to control? Let me just double check for you. Why not? Doctor, doctor. Okay, good, good. good. So you pull in, and yeah, yes, yeah. you two are you two are up here in the residential neighborhood. Although this does look awkward, the way that those two are are um, portrayed. Okay, yeah, I can move my token. Okay. Um. Oh wait, let's the cop see. can still be down here in the community. Or... Yeah, we'll get yeah we'll get him in a second. Yep. Or is that the same cop that's driving him around? We'll make that. Yeah. Yeah. We we'll bring him into the. Into the uh, what do you call it? Into it in a minute. Yeah, his name's Andrew, by the way. So he he's driving you around, asking, "Do you recognize anything here?" Oh yes, town is just here last night. Uh, the mayor was talking about the, the the decorative festival and all that. Oh yeah, we're we, we're gonna we're gonna decorate for that too. Mm -hmm. Might even do the police station if you want to help. If you want to help. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of like I'm starting to pick up what he's putting down here. Like, um, Really not my my thing. Um, you know, not that I'm against uh, rah rah community. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But I, I'm, uh, I'm not really the decorative sort. I'm, uh, I'm rather Spartan. <clears throat> I can see that uh, you you have a uh, interesting living living arrangement going on. Uh, so let's see, let's see. Uh, we checked those homes. We have these other. We have this other section, um, similar in architecture. So may, maybe they just messed up your address. And you uh, know that he's going up by the um, bed and breakfast. No, oh yes, I've. I've been over there before, um, briefly. Stall while I do that. Okay. Met the uh, met the proprietor. Mm-hmm. Now, do you know her? Pleasant enough. Oh, that's a very diplomatic way of putting it. <laughs> yes, and uh, apparently her niece. Were you we were were you at the the gathering last night? No. Oh, I was not invited. Oh, okay, all right. right. You you didn't. You know how they are about our kind. You didn't Police, get to see I mean. the, mayonnaise, the mayonnaise matron almost get arrested. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, you'll probably be seeing a lot of her at some point in your life. Hmm. So, do you recognize any of these? Drive um, up, there, drive up. Drive up. Is there anything I actually recognize? Not even a little bit. Except for, of course, uh, casually recognized because you've driven through here before. Uh, and the bed and breakfast, you know. But otherwise... Only, only the bed and breakfast, I'm afraid. Hmm. And that's when, at that time, there's a, a psychotic screaming woman. <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Doctor. As soon as I, I see her, <laughs> I just drop into the foot of the car, trying not to be seen. What are you doing? Oh my God. Hello? So, what's going on here? 
Don't I know don't. this man. What are you doing in there? Don't look. Officer, this man is a doctor and he's our um associate. Associate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are trying to in the seat, uh, I'm like uh, we are uh we're having a um <laughs> get together at uh Caroline's house. Uh Dante is it that uh, Mr. Doctor, you remember Dante. Uh -huh. Let's um let if you come with us, you can check out um the get together. In the, the meantime, get the get together. In the meantime, uh, there's a pounding on the bathroom door. Let me <laughs> let me bring. What are you doing in here? We gotta go, Mister Dante. Huh? What? Kick. Nobody, nobody better open that door. They're gonna not like what happens. Um, it's, not, it's not fresh in here. You know what I mean? Eating man, you, you can't pass by anything that contains water. <laughs> yeah, this door cracks at at the at the handle and, and uh, swings open. And yeah, she's well, just standing sorry, there. Ellen. Do you mind? Just blank face and gives you a head tilt. She's not alive, is she? Before mm -hmm. reaching, reaching for something heavy uh, like the soap dispenser on on the sink here, right in that general area. <laughs> oh, here it comes! And gets it ready to swing. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a shot. What are you doing? I'm gonna pee in her face. <laughs> Sweet. Ah. Give it a marksmanship roll. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting on the toilet, lady. Come on. Um agility and marksmanship or just Yep, much? yep, nope. It's okay. If it's ever one of them, it's always both. Oh, 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 oh. It go it goes wide. Um you, you pepper the uh bathroom sink. Just and, like a uh, proper aim. <laughs> yep. <laughs> But she will. I know I have them written down somewhere. Fairly said, if you have to put the toilet seat up. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I don't need to. I'm bookmark. sitting on it. What are you talking about? Well, I'm just saying, like, if you're pissing at her face and you're missing the, your head is about the same size as the hole in the in the toilet seat. So, like, clearly. Mm-hmm. My head is nowhere near as big as the whole <laughs> in the toilet seat. I'm just well, I mean, there's there's always there's always <laughs> options. There it is. So the strength is a B and the melee is a C. Got it. Strength is a B. And the melee is a C. So she brings down that freaking uh, soap dispenser and just smacks you with it. Right across the chops, mm. and and you'll take you'll take you'll take a a damage for that one. You'll put an eye out, not with his aim. His aim, he he was washing this washing the mirror on the sink, which hey, I'm gonna give him real credit for because the bathroom sinks over here, and if he's dropping it here and and, and he can curve it, go for it. He's he's curving it like that movie wanted. Exactly, that's what I was thinking of with the bullets. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> think of the name though. So she smacks you in the face with with uh, a soap dispenser, and and, and? that that's going to be up to you. What are you doing next? Now these two, these three are out here arguing. Uh, we're going to make sure that if they hear anything that's going on, because right um, now, right now it's just you two in there. Yeah, now I'm pissed. I'm gonna go ahead and punch her. Literally, <laughs> literally <laughs> pissed. Now I'm gonna punch her in the face. At mm -hmm. Ellen's, okay. <laughs> and, just know, I, Dante, stand up off the toilet. If I'm punching you in the face, that's a double <laughs> double B. Bang, all bang. That. Wow, you're going down. Ciao. Ooh. Okay, okay, we're done. that's good. That's no, that's not. I need you. 
So Ellen is that okay. My own, I think I might as well take my pen. I use this one. God bless. Da, da, da. That's two. Yeah. yeah. So she she takes that hit. <laughs> and uh as awkward as it was, it, it knocks her back and she stumbles against the, the wall in the hallway. Is How about you wall? two? I'm going to pull two... up my pants now. Yes, please pull up your okay. pants before we come back in this house. You, t- <laughs> yeah, 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 you two see if you can hear what's going on in there with that whips, wits and, uh, whips and chains. No, the wits and observation roll. Wow. Jesus, Karen knows something that isn't about her. <laughs> oh, she loves drama. Well, this is true. That's, I should have given her advantage for drama. <laughs> I heard something. Yeah, you heard, you, you heard something crash. Officer, there is something going on in this house. Something bad. You shouldn't. Why are you in somebody's house? I'm not in the house. I'm on the street with you. There's something, but I heard something crash. Don't you want to go check it out? Let's see, B and a C to see if he noticed anything. Nope. I have, <laughs> ma'am, ma'am, I think you might be a little bit um, hyper. No. Are you, are you really- sure? Because we, I didn't hear anything. I am I'm concerned really- if, if you're in somebody's house on uninvited. Doctor, did you hear something? You know, I'm really beginning to reconsider decorating the jail. Mm. Um, doctor. Did I in fact hear anything? Doctor. No, no, not with a four. No, you, you, no, you, you guys are so lame. I'm gonna go in here, and if Ma'am, there's some, you what? cannot. I can't let you go into somebody's yeah, house. Follow me in here. Come on, sir. Let's. Go. All right. In the meantime, Mr. Dante, you're back up. She'll stand up, come in, and try to smack you again. Oh, we ain't having that this time. Let's see. What was hers Chokes again? Lamp. D and well, we gotta choke let her slam. go. I'm going for the choke slam. Yes, after. No, she does not. That that is that is exceptionally bad. She does not even. She drops her uh, the soap she dispenser. Just, she just walked her throat right into my hand. <laughs> she just walked right into my hand like she knew what was coming, and she's going to get the choke slam. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. Can't wait to see the cop react to this. <laughs> Cop's outside. For now, yep. So you you throw her again. We'll we'll have her stumble out into the great room. No, no, no. That's a choke slam on her back on the floor. Bang, bang. What Do you not you guys? I'm not trying ahead, to throw her down the hall. I'm trying to flatten her on her back in the hallway. Blame. By the neck, you hoist him up, and then boom! Oh, got God. it. What are you people doing in here? What was that? I told you. I told you. Go check ma'am, it out. Ma'am? What? Sit. Sit now, where? Find a spot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps coming. Oh, that kills me. I'm dying. Meanwhile, out in the car is like, all right, if I steal this police officer's car, <laughs> I was wondering, maybe get back to L.A. where people are normal, which is saying a lot. <laughs> I should have. I should have done that. <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> Julia, you're all up your pants. <laughs> Chaotic neutral squirrel. <laughs> I'm a. Squirrel. I'm questioning every single life choice I've ever made. <laughs> yep, me too. And I don't mean in the game. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the the, uh, the cop comes around the corner just in time to see this girl's head as it's, it hits the floor, and it, that's all that's sticking out of this. Um, and, and a, a man with his pants around his ankles, uh, choke slamming her. <laughs> the hell are you guys doing? What's going on here? Stop it! 
dude, I'm Officer. taking a dump, and this chick walks in the bathroom and hits me with a fucking salt dispenser, man. You taser that woman right now. Sir, he tried to assault me. He tried. He tried to kidnap us. He he. They invited me into this house. I think they're they're, they're kidnapping people. <laughs> From sitting on the toilet to a kidnapper, dude, dude. Do you see I don't know what you two do. Is? So she, which one of you can convince the officer that you're correct? There's a turd in the toilet. I'm standing here with my <laughs> pants around my ankles. I can Even verify what I was doing. Why is she coming in the bathroom on me, dude? I, I I got attacked. This this crazy woman said that that she wanted us to 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 check on something, and it's not even her house. They they forced me in here. They shoved me in. Oh, she's lying. She, <laughs> Let's find out. She you. lives next door. She's like, you guys help me. I got to find out what happened to Caroline. She even knew the lady's name who lived here. Man, what's up? None of that is very convincing. She's a big fat liar. Emphasis on fat. <laughs> give the uh, <laughs> with, <laughs> Lord, <laughs> give the empathy and persuasion from both of you to see if you can convince, make a better, more convincing story. While they're doing a convincing story, then I'm standing here with my pants around me. Rah. Are are there any? Are there any weapons in the police officer's car that are small enough to conceal? Uh, not small enough to conceal. The shotgun is locked in the... I think I won. I think I won. So did I. Like... I got a nine. Mm -hmm. I got a big 11 nope. out of 12. Come on. Come on. 11 <laughs> out of 12. I got a 14 total. I think Caroline's going to jail right now. That's what I think. That's an Ellen clone. <laughs> Not a bad in the head. <laughs> so yeah, you you were checking for weapons, and and no, there's nothing uh, that would stand out, and and the shotgun is locked in its in its cradle. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as soon as yeah, don't touch. The doctor just wants to arm himself with anything. I wouldn't blame you at this point. Um, but yeah, this woman, even though she's laying on the ground bleeding, um, bleeding. Dante also, Dante's also line. bleeding from the forehead, uh, from the forehead, I from bust her open. I just choke slammed her, dude. That you know of. <laughs> yep. Her but strength. yes, you you two are man. You two are able to convince the officer that she came in here ahead of you. And uh, I was just taking a dump, officer. Come on, <laughs> I got attacked on the toilet for fuck's sake. <laughs> let's let's get everybody outside and 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 we'll see what's going on when we get out there. You shouldn't even be in this house. It's not yours. So he um, helps. It's better than pooping in the pool, right? That was Daniel, you. Why would you bring that up? He pulls out the cuffs. That was you. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting past them. You can't run through walls. You're not a ghost anymore. There it went. went there went the turtle on the floor. I went through every doorway. I went out this doorway. What doorway? Through that doorway. Where? I went through that doorway. <laughs> so yes, he would start bring bring everybody outside. I didn't um, know. They all sell with these people. Oh, and Dante, look who I found cowering in a cop car. What did you do, Mr. Doctor? As soon as I see Karen again, I dive back for the foot of the car. <laughs> oh, pathetic. Hoping for a tow trigger on the uh, shotgun. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it's locked! <laughs> it's locked, son of a... <laughs> Are the keys in the ignition? <laughs> no, no. He, Damn it. He took those with, yeah. Nope, you, you've got this psychological torture all on your own. <laughs> She's like, officer, you need to let me go. I need to get back home. Uh, these people assaulted me. They tried to take me. I, I just, don't just, know what their problem is. Am I am I actually locked in the police car? No, no. no. Come out. 
can't talk to you through the window. Can I can I lock the police car? <laughs> Come out. Unfortunately, no, Come you can't. Out. Come out. I'm gonna open the door. Hello. No. Oh, no. I can see you. Get Officer, I, I demand to be arrested uh for breaking and entering. Did you well, you're, in you're... the pool too? In the pool. You're what? gonna have company. He brings this person over and, and puts her in the back seat with you. No, oh, Mr. Doctor, you should get out right now. She's not right in the head. That's saying a lot coming from you. You know, she that's your only warning you're going to get. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. What, what? Unless you wish to be arrested along with him, I suggest you go on about your day. I'm going to stand on the porch. Don't. Do you know who I am, by the way? Do you know? Closes the door. Yep. <laughs> I want to speak to your supervisor. The window goes up. <laughs> how rude, Dante. Did you see how rude he was? I thought he was pretty cool. He, he, he kind of glossed over the poop in the pool comment. He almost <laughs> got arrested again. The doctor's just musing to himself like, you know, you know, I've got nobody else to ask. I'll just turn to the woman who's in the backseat like, why was she screaming in the middle of the street? They're crazy. They, they they tried to take me in this house and kidnap me, and, and now I'm the one getting arrested. And the officer goes, at, offers you, like, hey, um, we can take you back to the station. We can try to help figure out where you're, where you're supposed to be, or we can let you out here. Uh, that's up to you, but we have to get her back down to a cell. Wait, she really... Starts leaning away from the woman. What do you mean you do? get back to a cell? Um, it let let's just say it might be safer if you rode up front. If if out of the car, into the front. Seat. You're leaving. Yeah, I'm just oh, out of the back, into the front seat. <laughs> okay, but you're gonna go. You're gonna do a ride along. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're going to keep it with you for the ride along in a second. Let's get back with these two quick. What are you doing now that you, uh, uh, Dante and Karen did up? I, I, I really think we should go back in the house when they leave and go check things out. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Doctor, I don't think he's coming with us, but that's his own fault. He's going to go with the cops. He's crazy. Yeah, we'll say they turn around and they start heading down the road back to the to the center of town. I'm going to wave and then give him the middle finger. <gasps> if he, let me see if he sees that. I do not look back at Karen whatsoever. Uh, you do not make eye contact with dangerous animals. Right? So let's see if a B and a C no, has no idea. I don't know if that hurts worse, that he doesn't even notice you existed. I don't care. I got my point across. Come on, Dante. Let's go figure this shit out. Dante's already figured some shit out twice. <laughs> well, no more actual shitting, okay? Please, yes. Da Dante. Dude. What? Stuck up the whole house. I ain't going in there. Are your pants up? It here? already smells bad in there anyway. To wipe your ass, Dante. <laughs> I've seen and smelled worse at the asylum that burnt itself down. Can we go? <laughs> I have questions. I love that she has just defined that it burned itself down, and that is now her reality. She's uh huh. Sticking. <laughs> sticking to it. That's what yep. happened. Nothing else exists. Hey, Mr. Dante, give me an, an observation for me. Okay. What's, a, what's an observation, please? Wits is a B, and observation is a D. Oh, a 10 and a 6. Here we go. Okay. You noticed that across the street, uh, but oh. down, a, down a house at that Reese's, they're tearing down their decorations. Hey, hey, Karen. <laughs> what? Look, look over there. 
Why By the way, that, that's care? the same person with the pool that you've. Uh... Oh no! <laughs> look! Look what they're doing. They're yeah. They're taking down their decorations. I don't. Aaron. Do you want me to say something, Dante? What are you trying Isn't to say? Isn't that against the rules? You're the HOA. <laughs> There's only one of me. I only can do so much. <laughs> yes. All right. Fuck it. I don't care. Okay. You can Just go over good. there and say something if you want. You can use my I'm authority. not HOA, baby. That's your job. Job. Remember job? The job. Do you what I please. Job? Listen, if you want to go over there and say, I know Karen Needlemeyer and no, she says, I don't, I, I would never admit to knowing Karen Needlemeyer. Oh, course. you love me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dante, I'm going to pinch his cheek rather hard. Oh. <laughs> So what do you want to do, Dante? You want to go in the house with me? Come on. Come on. I'm going to drag him with me. Come on. I really wanted to see you cuss the people out across the street. That's why I, I want to go check out this house, and that's what we're going to do. Let's go. Come on. You're just Come no on. fun anymore, Karen. I don't care what you want to do. Let's go. And I don't care what you think of me either. Let's go. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> yes. Let's go. You know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Her favorite Sorry. thing to say. And where's your manager? Yeah. So, I was Tur asking the, the other guy for his manager, but it didn't work. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, he didn't even didn't even pay attention to you. So anyway, um they are driving. And keep in mind it is not right outside of the house here, but just for the sake of argument, we'll keep them here. Yeah, keep them out. Yeah. Make life a little bit easier. And you get outside of the residential neighborhood. You pass the B and B. Uh you're keep, on the road. Go ahead. I keep looking in the, the rear view mirror to make sure this woman isn't going to do anything like crazy. Mm hmm You uh are on that small stretch between town and and and, and the B and B area when Her hand goes on to the grate that's behind. You know, the cop cars have the grate that separates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it goes on to and through, wraps around the cop's neck. Wait. <laughs> through? Uh... Like, like Wait, the, the through? fingers extended into jelly-like stuff, wrapped around the cop's neck, and just start squeezing. You're in a cop car with venom. Okay, I again start to try and wrench the shotgun free. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Fucking down. Oh, she does. She does uh, get a good slap on the old cop there. I go to Mike, mark that down. Oh, that sucks. Here we go. And the, the car starts swerving because obviously that's that's kind of a shocker. Yeah. Not 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 the shocker, but um. Not the shocker. It could be. Not the shocker. Kind of prod, but <laughs> could be. I mean, with fingers like that, she can do a lot. <laughs> well, we had Karen oh, going to get an evaluation, but she uh, burned the asylum down. I have, I have a question. <laughs> I, it burned itself down. Let's talk. I, I have a question out of character. Okay, go ahead. Where did Karen hide the cattle prod while the cop was around? I'm not sure she would have. I don't think she would nope. care if he knew that she had it. Nope. She would just have it in the open. Because mm -hmm. she had a cattle prod and an axe. Yep. <laughs> and the cop didn't question that at all. Um, I've got a permit for that. I'm just asking. I'm just, you know. I've got a permit for a cattle prod. <laughs> There's there's plenty of construction going on. The axe wouldn't be out of out of the ordinary, but yes, the cattle prod probably should have been questioned if it hadn't been for the uh, the um, half naked guy and and the chick on the floor. That was kind of the bigger precedent there. That was. I mean, I got this big jacket. I can hide my nine mil in my bone saw, you know. But she you had, you really had something else big that was swinging around. 
She, she oh. don't have a whole lot of places to hide stuff. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even between those enormous tactical tatas. I was going to say that's where the axe is. <laughs> right down the middle. Yeah. Now well, he said she's an old battle axe, and now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Confirmation. Confirmation. <laughs> but yes, this car is swerving around. You're getting jerked around. What are you going to do? Uh, I He's guess crying. I got... <laughs> He's crying. <laughs> Which I don't know what if the, you... the cop is fighting against himself. Like, uh, can I can I get my foot onto the brake as well? I mean, it's, it's got a giant console, so it's going to be difficult. But if you want to try, let's you know what? See that. I'm going to blow the transmission. I'm just going to grab the the shifter and slam it into into park. All right. Well, let's see if you can do that. Um. It should not be overly difficult. So do the strength and force, but give it with an, with an advantage, which means uh, you can roll it a right. one, die, one die higher. All right, Lou, you do not get to draw Dante with his pants around his ankles. I'm just saying. <laughs> that, that one would be an awkward, awkward thumbnail indeed. <laughs> I can already Look. see it from over his shoulder, choke slapping fucking <laughs> or Ellen or whatever her name was. Yeah, so uh, Big old booty hanging out. Bam. Yeah, six and six. So yes, you you managed to uh, slam that sucker into park so hard it sends everybody flying. Um, you see that her face melts like through the grate a yeah. little bit before <laughs> she pulls it back. Yeah, so we're going to give you a sanity check on that one. Um, in order to resist, it's the insight roll. But yeah, you, you might want to try for against two sanity on that. Empathy and insight. All right, empathy and insight. Empty that's not beat. something you usually see. No, no, that's that's a bit, uh, that's a bit extreme. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think it's um what's the value of b b is a 10 b is a 10 yeah no yeah, you you were you were completely freaking out uh, so you'll take both of those as stress um, all right mark it down so that you'll have those extra dice to roll too i'll i'll put it here so a total of four stress uh, no, two, because you were fighting. You were going against two, and and this is to resist it to okay. see if you can reduce I that number. I also did not put on my seatbelt because <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to escape the back seat once I found this lady supposed to be. Uh, did you go through bigger. the windshield when you threw the car in park? We're about to find out. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna say, yes, yes, puppers. I see. You. Get that. Uh, get. Whew. Wow. Chris, I might have the dog out. We can play an ad or something. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh do this do the strength and force thing again to see if you can brace yourself against the uh the dashboard. And I'll do the same thing for the officer. Because obviously she, her face went into the so it's one. Just, you got one? One is an eight. Oh, you got you got A one. Okay. And the eight. Yeah. So all right. So tens actually two successes, tens and above. Um, so that's good for him. Because he's managed to he manages to hold onto the wheel, keep the car from careening into a tree at least, but he does bring it to a a somewhat stop. But yeah, you uh smack up against the dashboard, but you're fine. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't do much. It just. If you would have been holding something, you'd have you'd have dropped it. But of course, you didn't have a weapon at the time. So yeah, I'm immediately scrambling out of the car as fast as I can. All righty. I mean, literally, like scrambling. I just tumble out of the car. <laughs> okay. Uh, she's still strangling him. Yeah. Good uh, luck. <laughs> <laughs> you're out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Okay. All right. If he does not 
Okay, so that's a B for him. And in a does... in a blind panic, because I'm not thinking rationally, because I've just seen some freaky ass shit. I'm actually running back, and now I'm the one screaming in the street, back to uh, where Dante and Karen are, because I'm just not coherent. I'm just like, ah! he's, he's running past the B and B right now, ah! screaming. <laughs> And and, and Lily Tilly is inside going, what the? Yeah, kids these days. <laughs> give it, give an observation for me, just to see if you hear something. All right. And don't running, forget to don't forget to add your two stress to it. He's running and screaming, and you want to know if he can hear something. <laughs> yes. Yes. That should have a disadvantage to it for the running and screaming part. <laughs> well, that's the that's the two stress he has to roll too, which is three. So you got a one. Uh, your two stress are two d sixes. Oh, okay, two d sixes. All right. Yeah. So let me, let me reroll that. All right. So it's the uh, simple roller once again. So d six. So one plus this four. Uh, okay, so no. Well, at least you didn't get ones, so you don't have to roll on the panicking table. That's good. But that, no, that, you don't. You... I was kind of hoping to roll on the panicking table. I think that would have been fun. <laughs> yeah. But no, you do not hear anything as you as you um, as you speed off down down the road. But so you don't. You have no idea what happens with these two. In fact, you don't know so much that I'm going to hit the de delete on both of them. As far as you know, they're still there. I'm like, and there's some little corner of my mind that's thinking like all this Hollywood elite, like uh, somewhere between Luciferian and Scientology bullshit that I <laughs> used to a lot is really coming he, back to haunt me. He did I, not once think about whether or not the cop is going to be okay. He got out the car and left, dude. Oh, hell yep. no. He, he's on his own. <laughs> yeah. I am not a hero. <laughs> oh, we know that. Yes, we know that. We was in the asylum with you, remember? Yeah. Exactly. You're like this. Like, nope. <laughs> he's got a gun. He's trained. It's his job. He know what he signed up for. <laughs> That's what he was yelling as he was coming down the Bring street. Back. Protect and serve. Protect and serve. <laughs> Me and children first. <laughs> All right, so you come again. You come screaming up to the the porch. Dante's on there, and somehow you manage to get all back together. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you, Doc? I thought you left with the police. I would I would actually have kept on running until I got out of this town, but I just <laughs> ran out of gas. <laughs> yeah, car cardio was not your thing, A woman. Uh, uh. Uh, fingers. Uh, 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 I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> that wasn't me. Uh, 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 jellyfish fingers. Uh, 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 oh, he's been watching anime face. again. Face. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, 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 slow down, Doc. Slow down. Here, take a hit of this. Take a hit of this. <laughs> <laughs> sure, he'll take a hit. <laughs> There's nothing else to do. I'm gonna turn into a burnout like this guy. <laughs> take a hit. Uh, take a hit. Slow down. Uh, slow down. Uh, uh, Start at the beginning. He left in the cop car. What happened? Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So I put the woman in the back seat with me, and then the officer said we needed to get her back to her cell, and I was like. Nope, not staying in this back seat. So I got in the front seat. Okay. And then she stuck her fingers through the divider. And her fingers got long enough to strangle the officer. Uh, what? Okay. okay. Yeah. What, what, hold on. Now, answer me seriously. What were Rap you taking? This, what, what were you taking this morning? I just want to know. The last thing I had was a bottle of gin last night. Okay. Okay. Carry on. I, I don't have <laughs> anything. I'm a functioning alcoholic. 
Oh God, I need a drink and a bump. In a minute, uh, come on, come on. But the and then, uh, well, I didn't want to be there. No, no. So I, I, I slammed. I, I couldn't get the shotgun loose, and so I, I slammed. Damn it! I should have grabbed his pistol, but he probably needs it more than I do right now. Uh, and so I, I, I slammed the car into into park. Uh, that transmission screwed, by the way. And <laughs> her face hit the mesh and started coming through the mesh like that. That that Terminator. That yes, you yes. Think like we that. have another fucked up tranny on the street. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, but, what did you just way, say? Jesus, it was, that was a that was a good movie. I, I did a little work on Linda Hamilton's sister. You know, they they look very close, but for the movie, they needed them for like body doubles. Mm -hmm. this is, actually, she does have a twin sister, and so yeah. they need to tweak just a couple of things uh, for the film. So I did I did some nice work on her. Like she looks exactly like her sister now. I mean, exactly one of my best jobs, mind you. But that's like like she she like T one thousand through the grate. And I was out of there. Dante's cooking meth in the kitchen. No, I went to get him a drink. I grabbed a <laughs> bottle of whiskey and I brought it out to the porch, man. That's all. That's all. Yeah, just douche. <laughs> Knocking this shit back. <laughs> clook, 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 clook. About, a, about a quarter of one. Uh, yeah. All right, all right. I don't even like brown liquor. I'm sorry. It's what I saw. I just grabbed the first <laughs> thing I saw. I say that and I take another another pull. Hi. <sighs> mm. Hi. <sighs> so, yeah. So let's stop there with the creature. That that just happened. I, I think you're kind of lucky you got away with just your pants down. <laughs> um... Yeah, well, you know. Do I still smell shit? Yeah, you probably do. <laughs> did you never wipe your ass, man? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Go bathe in the pool. <laughs> I would if those people weren't out in the yard. <laughs> Unconventional accessories. Yes, indeed. I have tactical panic. <laughs> mm-hmm. It definitely gave you the strength to uh, to get away. Well, let's see. If we're going to go with the alliteration, I have tactical terror. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so the deal is, is that Karen wants to go back inside this house and look around. Yes. Why, why were you in here in the first place? There was an ambulance earlier, and they took the lady away. There's something going on. They keep finding, I don't know, I've been attacked. Dante's been attacked, and it's like, it's not, it's the neighbor, but it's not, like you saw in the cop car. Okay. I don't know if you're clones That's or the they're on a lot of drugs, but when all I, I got to say is I need to figure it out. That's right, two when... Ellen clones. Neither one of them was the real Ellen. That's we're getting weird now. We getting weird. Listen to this. After I was able to ditch, I mean, uh, uh, after you two wandered off, and I, <laughs> I, I, I found my my home. I just wanted to go home. Had a nice yeah. bottle of gin and drank myself into a pleasant stupor, and uh, passed out on my bed. And then I woke up this morning and there was somebody screaming in my face that what was I doing in his house? And like I, I pull out my ID as if like I need to prove it to them. My address was correct. See, this address, this is where I was at. This is my home address here in this town. But the house was different. And my key didn't fit the door anymore. And my car is gone. I'm homeless. I've only got the clothes on my back. Yeah, you went to sleep in your upstairs bedroom and woke up on a first floor. I I don't know how that happened. Yeah, my, my whole first, my whole second story was gone. He, he's, it was only a story. And I'm a telling you there's something weird going on. <laughs> I know, I know. But let me just well, say, I, the answer is probably here in this house. You know, I bet you. What if we went in here and there we found another Ellen? What do you think? Oh, you betcha. 
Why why would I want to find another Ellen? That last one is a squid. There's a real Ellen out there. A squid. I don't think so. I, I think something probably ate her. Some some metamorph from Mars. I like oh I've seen too many scripts. Mm hmm I've even pitched a couple, you know. I, I really think ideas. you guys should stop talking and just follow me. Come on. I mean, don't don't be like that. Everybody in Hollywood pitches a Excuse script me. at some point. Excuse me. I will be any way I want to be. Thank you. <clears throat> now follow me. Dante. To be any way she wants to be. She'll never be attractive or pleasant. That's for sure. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to say that under my breath to Dante. But she's still like... I've made dozens just like her. I've heard. I heard that. How rude. <laughs> yes, get your butt in here. Why did I walk in first? What's wrong with me? <laughs> A lot. All right, come down this way. Yeah. Dante. Um, I'll be Egypt right with you. Um, just no, a second. No, no, um, no, no, no. Now, again, you still smell musty, but it's undercut with an odor of um, tacticalness. Yeah, tacticalness. <laughs> Gross. Once I empty this bottle, it will make a sufficient weapon. Dante, what did you eat last night? Those chicken wings? Good lord. I'm glad you remembered the chicken wings. That that does make me happy. <laughs> no, no, you guys had chicken wings. You did. I had chicken nuggets. No, you were stealing those chicken wings. I saw you. Three times you went to that buffet and stole food. How rude. Yeah, here's a controversy. Are 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 boneless chicken wings just adult chicken nuggets? <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Okay. Do I notice anything from my current location? You are, if I remember right here. And again, you you do see the... You know what? I am going to give you that. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> These two bedrooms, this one and this one, uh, you they just seem like your normal tacky... God, I wish she'd hire a decorator bedrooms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where where Ellen landed, you're kind of, I don't know how curious you would be on it, but it looks almost mayonnaise-ish. <laughs> it's, it's white. It's, you know, it's got the same consistency and texture. Mr. Doctor. Speaking of chicken wings, I have buffalo style Cheetos. Not a sponsor, fortunately. Not, but we're, not, but. not yet. I'll take it, though. <laughs> Mr. Doctor. Mm, yes? Please watch my back. Well, I sure don't want to watch your front. Um, is, it, is it going to do something? Be quiet. Just watch my back. <laughs> I'm going to investigate this that. mayonnaise <laughs> on the floor. Dante, where are you? <laughs> Give either... Allow Miss Karen to either do the observation or an insight to see how much you might notice on it. I don't remember if I flushed. You might not want to go in there. <laughs> hey. Uh. Look, luckily for her, it's on the outside of the bathroomish area. Um, that, that could be why it's lingering. I'm just saying. You know. Yeah, because her head cracked in the doorway. So from from the choke slam. To be fair, and as a, as an observer, props never wow. did say. <laughs> no, he didn't. He did not mention the flush. But yeah, you got an eleven. That's actually two successes. So you're able to notice that no, it is indeed not mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it it it's not up to your level of consistency, texture, and and. Oh, did I, I actually was, touch it? No, but you can see. Oh, okay. you would. Okay. Karen would. I would touch not. That. I would not touch. No. 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 Just like she wouldn't taste it to see if it's made. Oh, good God, no. <laughs> Which you might have gotten if you got a one. She nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Thank but goodness. No, you, those, yeah. She's not one of those characters in movies always got like, touch it, sniff it, and taste it. Uh, yeah. right. The stuff? Two years old. They passed the stuff? days ago. We're on the trail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that movie, The Stuff, where they're like, what's this? And they just start eating it. Yeah. yeah. 
No, you don't. You don't. Um, Ew. You you know that it's not. It's not anything that 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 should be. Uh, yeah. you, and you do smell something coming from this area. Gentlemen, and I use that term loosely, please follow me. Don't eat the mayonnaise on the floor, Dante. I don't care what level of munchies you have. He's it is dead. not mayonnaise. Pulling a chip for dipping. Just... It's not. No, put the chips away. Follow me, please. Okay, out of out of weird, morbid curiosity, because I'm I'm kind of caught up in the madness now, I guess. He madness. Said no. I'm gonna I'm gonna examine the residue on the floor, oh. see if it's <laughs> did you find All right. it flush? That's one problem. Up. One out of several. Uh do either the observation or insight for it. Let me see. Whichever one's better for you. All right, looks like we'll do that then. <coughs> see if it resembles any biological fluid I would know of. Is that all we got? Yeah. Until we get your actual character sheet, yeah. Okay. So no, I mean you do you know it's not mayonnaise. Um, you know it's not human, but that's about where because you've never seen this this substance come out of anything before. But other than that, that's that's all you get. That's all you know. It's not blood bile or plasma. Nope. Nope. Mm. So now where are we at? Um, I don't know, but it seems like that toilet's still running. I'm going to go in here and, and fix it real quick. Um, <laughs> For the next 25 <laughs> minutes, I'll be in here fixing this. <laughs> Sounds like the float's stuck. I'm just going to lift the top, <laughs> top of the tank off. and Dante! Know, fix it. You know, what are I mean, you doing? The toilet's still <laughs> running. Why am I in here? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> you, you love me that much, I guess. Jesus. No, I want you to follow me. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna peek into these rooms. I'm gonna stand right here, okay. and I'm gonna open the door. Wait, and is the door open? Up there so you yeah, can the, put me in. No, the door's Thank open you. already. Yeah, you. Yeah, the doors are open, and you smell something strong. That that musty smell. That weird, like. I'm gonna peek into the bedroom. This oh one? man! No, this I'm gonna one? peek like into really this bad one. Antilly in there. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna peek into the right. Bedroom. Gotcha. So on the bed, um, you'll you'll see a lot more of that white slime, that white mayo looking slime, just covering the bedspread. Dude, white slime just sounds gross, okay? I'm just... <laughs> I want to know white I mean, slime. It, it looks like mucus, but the color's wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So, that's what we get from the distance. If we want to get closer, we can get closer, but that's what you see from a distance. Yeah, I, I ain't even going to the doorway. <laughs> Not slim. If the doctor's just like for the for the sake of his own sanity, he's he's just running through like uh -huh. an analogy, just like you know, it's it's not phlegm. Like I'm I'm going into doctor mode, even though normally I don't practice this sort of medicine. <laughs> it's not like the pus that comes out of a cyst. Hey, now, I, go I need you to hey, identify something. <laughs> Well, I looked at the bit in the hallway. I mean, this this bears a striking resemblance, but it's as far as I can tell, it's not a it's not an emission from a human being. Then what is it? I don't know. Dante, maybe it's from something machine. Um, um I don't know. Yeah, nope, don't know. Nope. Looks like a Tyrannosaurus Rex jacked off on the <laughs> Lord. <laughs> I 
You are such a savage. I'll tell you that much. What is wrong with you? Call it like I see it, lady. What? Lady? You know better. You always act like you don't know what, to, what you're what you going to get with me, Karen. Ugh. I don't know. Look. <clears throat> yeah, it looks gross. Okay. I hang down. I'm not going in there. That is an astounding qual quantity of... You see, that's why I said Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm going to poke it with the cattle prod. I knew you were going to... I'm back in way... With... With uh, the... Yeah, I'm going to stand... I'm going to reach as far as I can. I'm going to lean forward and poke the white substance with the cattle prod and shock it and see what happens. Okay. Oh, this is going to be great. It turns out <laughs> the stuff from 1980s. I'm not going to eat it. She's going to activate the blob right now. I say, go ahead, give it... Give it the uh, uh, what do you call it? About a, why is my brain force? freezing? Uh, strength and melee. I don't have melee. I have force. Kind All of right, we'll just give then just do the strength. Lame. <laughs> no. Okay. So you 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 shock it. Okay, because it's not hard. It's not moving. That's what you know. And, and the role was to see um how much splatter would happen. But oh, okay, good. It, it does indeed. It does indeed shoot up, and, and goo covers you just oh. a bit. There, there's there's oh. a bit there, but you. One of the aside from the slimy quality, the most overwhelming thing you notice is that it's oaky, sweet, and it has it, and it is the musty scent that you smelled when you came in. It it is really uh. weird. It it is unnatural. Uh. Uh, it's oaky, yeah. like aged in a barrel. No, I'm gonna something. go wash my face Could in the be. bathroom. That smells like turds. Too bad the soap was all smashed. Jeez, uh, is there a, uh, uh, excuse me? Look out, Dante. <laughs> Get is away from me. Kitchen over here. Okay, uh, okay. I'm gonna wash my face in the sink. Is there okay. soap here? You could have just went in this yeah. bathroom, you know. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm not gonna, um, no. No, I'm not going into that room after it splashed me. The doctor uh, yes. had an epiphany. The doctor what? He's had an epiphany. And what oh. would that be? Uh, since I've started hinting at, the doctor has been to lots of really weird Hollywood events and parties and things. Mm-hmm. Um, does this look like ectoplasm by any chance? No, it is okay. not translucent. Uh, it is very, very much opaque. All right, for a moment, I thought I was on to something. So, yeah, I was at and, this... you, and, and you're doing the observation <laughs> from the hall? Well, I'm not going into the room. I was like, I was at this one, <laughs> Shirley McLean, right? Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, she was trying to contact the other side, and she she vomited up all this goo. And for a moment, I thought this might have been. No, she did always want to meet her husband John, but no. It's... It was it was a fascinating event. It was hosted by her and Dan Aykroyd. Mm hmm. All right. So, uh, what are we doing now that that somebody was actually slimed? Now that now that you made me think of that. <laughs> Um, I got nothing for slime. I got nothing for slime. I don't have um, a pitcher to scoop it up with. Don't want to anyway. Um, a nine millimeter ain't going to do nothing to a pile of slime. I'm not, not getting usually. close enough with the bone saw because why? And yeah, I don't care about the slime. It's slime. It's over there. I'm good. Okay. Is it flammable? Well, nobody Just tried. I want to burn down another building. Jeez. <laughs> I didn't burn down anything. It burnt itself down. You could try it, though. The slime came off of Ellen when you knocked her to the floor. Well, yep. if we can't if we can't hurt them, and the they're pretty strong, hopefully they're flammable, or else how are we going to stop them? Uh, so yeah. you do notice that it, it, it was the same substance that you found on the floor outside of the bathroom that, that was also on the on the bed. Hopefully that one doesn't turn into another Karen. 
What? Oh, that. What? No, but I touch your manager. What? Danger. I touched your manager. Time. I touched it, and now it could turn into me. Possibly. Out outside of the game, I'm thinking out loud. That's okay. Feel free. There, I don't want. Don't need to just leave this town. I need to leave this country. Can you imagine if there was just a bunch of Karens there? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> talking about talk scenario. Yeah. You know it's what, like, Chris? We have just come up with the next scenario for you. <laughs> it's like one of us, but you're not good enough to join us. Right. It's yeah. like the HOA, and they're all Karen. Uh huh. <laughs> the whole town of Karen, and you're like, no, how do I escape? <laughs> yeah, perfect one for Mr. Uh, Doctor. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've, I've been there, and how all right, a lot of this nightmare. <laughs> I thought I left that in Hollywood. So, note to self, <laughs> <laughs> note to self. No, for no reason. No reason at no all. Reason. None at all. <laughs> Drinking the adren adrenaline laced blood of children was just something you did. You know, it, it wasn't personal. <laughs> it was right. All right, so we're we're ignoring the bedroom, and where are we headed now? After uh, I go wash my face. Her did sink they not bath. Go Lame. Did you see anything, well, guys? Did you see anything? Did you look in that one? Yeah, I was about to say, is there anything in this bedroom? I'm so, going to pretend to trip and run into Mr. Doctor, who will then run into ah! Dante. <laughs> no, there's this This one is actually, uh, looks like it's more for storage. You see boxes and papers and, and so on, but nothing out of the ordinary. Go look. Maybe you'll find something useful, like your brain. <gasps> Not enough surgery in the world to fix that woman. I heard that too. <laughs> and now beginning. I'm actually going to boot him. <laughs> now, now I'm going to. Now zap. I'm going to boot him. He pays attention or it gets the zap zap. Yes. So is there. Boot. <laughs> that no. didn't work. No, Sorry. no, no. Strength and force. Nope. Didn't nope. work. Lame. Nope. I'm just I'm just going with it. <laughs> he thanks you for the massage and 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 moves on in. If I rummage about a bit, is there anything in this room if I investigate some? Uh you you can gladly investigate, but in here is really just uh old newspapers, um high school yearbook, just the standard things that uh, a person would accumulate over the years. It it's not there's not even really any organization to it. It's uh, it's all seems to be rather mundane. Nothing creepy or slimy in here. Nope. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna muster up just the tiniest bit of courage. I need to know what's going on, and okay. examine. All right, give it your uh. Either your wits and observation, or because you are the doctor, you can do the empathy healing. Um, since that's how you're looking at, but don't forget to include your two d6 for panic. Mm. Oh, glad you you didn't panic. That's the thing. But you you notice something that's really really weird to you, aside from the giant load of. Uh, of everything right. else is pretty strange to stand out. <laughs> yeah. But you see a waxy coating, and it's clearly um, something solid, a honeycomb-shaped, waxy thing that, that was... It, it's just shattered and scattered on the other side of the bed. Hmm. How large are the honeycombs, the individual cells? Say about an inch, inch and a half. That's pretty big, even for a bug. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, Miss Needlemeyer, come look at this. I'm sorry, what did you call me? 
Isn't isn't your name Needlemire? Oh, that's not my chosen name. You keep telling everyone you're Karen Needlemire. Yes, but you didn't call me by my full name. That's what I expect, sir. Karen Needlemire the third, heiress to the Needlemire Manes. Fortune? Yeah. Uh, Fortune. I'm saying all of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually I've actually met people who if you don't say all of their PhD and this and after their name they yeah. get pissed. Yeah. yeah. I that, earned that, 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 sir. Yeah, so that fits. That is my title. You will call me that title or you will be disappointed. I am learning to live with disappointment day by day. <laughs> Anybody else's uh, roll 20 just crash? No. No my Good. Okay, let me let me refresh mine then, so you'll see me out. Yeah, it it happens. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, I don't need it really. This, well, look at do. this. This bizarre in style honeycomb, but extraordinarily large. Mm -hmm. Did you touch it? Oh hell! No. <laughs> Did you smell it? Uh, should I? Yes. Oh, are we playing some Call of Cthulhu? <laughs> we just might be eventually. I mean, this this has the flavor. Just with it, this, this one, yeah, this one definitely does. But uh, we we will be doing that one eventually too. If if you know, you guys still want to keep going and doing stuff. So, um, yeah, you guys are checking that out. No, they're checking that out. I'm standing out here. Now. Well, right. What are you Dante, doing? Hey, Dante, you chicken shit, come in here. No, I, I'm good. I'm not getting jizzed on by the white. Jizzed on? That's what I, can, you. I can tell you unequivocally. You say? This is not semen. No, no. Or that was never the intent. It's close enough. We're good. Or disappointingly ectoplasm. No, sorry. No, no, it is not not from the spirit realm. That you would have recognized anyway. As a matter of fact, it doesn't seem to relate to any biological fluid uh, that comes from a human. And at the very <laughs> least, it is, it is not... Um, Again, it is it is not semen of any recognizable sort. So, no, that's not the one I wanted. Give me a high or low. Which one? High or low? Oh, high, because he wishes he was right now. <laughs> All right. Well, it's low. Um, so I have to do this to you. I mean, I don't have to, but I'm gonna. <laughs> I was about to say you're gonna do it. That's what she said. Right there. God in heaven help us. And I don't think he does. No. Where's that darn character sheet for him? I know I have it. Well, we'll just do this. Knock, knock, knock on the front door. Him again. You're in, you're in here. You don't know who it is. Dante. Dante, yeah. go answer the door. There's something useful he can do. <laughs> yeah, if you're not going to come in here and look at this thing, go open the door. Oh, man. Do it. The, okay. door, the door creaks open. Who's in here? I'm hiding. Fuck that. It's the cop. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes running down the hall. Where are you mm -hmm. people? What are you still doing in here? What? Is this Officer, the office? Come look, come look at early? this. Look at what? I see I see people invading somebody's home. No, 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 no. Look at this Wait. pile of goo on the bed and look at this this honeycomb looking thing, giant bees, I don't know. Something, something. Is this the officer I was with earlier? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. That's not uh, important right now. Are you okay? I'm fine. You? Uh -oh. uh, he got taken over. 
He's the bad guy. <laughs> yeah, the doctor's not putting that together yet. I am, and I'm outside the window. I'm like, fuck that! I got the hell out of there. Oh, no. We don't, we don't have to worry about this. Let's, let's go. We don't have to worry about this. Are you seeing this? Uh, they either we, need to call an exterminator, a cleanup crew. Uh, I don't, I don't know what's going on in this house. You're right. Let me call somebody. Yeah, um, you call somebody, <coughs> Mister Doctor. Do you have any weapons? Uh. No, of course not. And I'm I'm looking at the officer closely, but trying to be cool about it. I'm mm -hmm. looking for contusions around his throat. Uh, or an insight with your empathy. Let's see. Um, I can't read the number. The image is small. Sorry. This for the doctor. B. Come on. Oh, now my now my roll twenty is acting weird. Yeah, it, it it did the same. It's just something today. Uh, seven. A seven? Oh, okay. That's good. So you do notice uh, nothing, nothing on the neck. Does he appear to have a sheen? Like maybe he's excreting something, looking a little unnaturally moist. He does seem a little, a little on the uh, shinier side. And, and the clothes seem wet, which is really weird. I'm just kind of like lean back a little bit and start again, trying to be subtle about it, but not terribly subtle because I'm not good at that. Uh, just kind of <laughs> elbowing Karen a little bit like mm -hmm. is he what? Mm -hmm. Prepare for battle? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Why would you say that out loud? <laughs> I don't I think have an interior to... monologue. <laughs> He's slimy. <laughs> oh, so now you're saying it out loud. Well, you you know, and that's not nice. You should support the blue. Loud. And he's got a. He's, Do you he's dislike policemen? Oh shit! Ellen comes in and stands next to him. Oh shit! That's what I just said. Dante's out there with his popcorn. Mm. Nope. Dante yeah, snuck in through the, the back Arcadia door, came up behind him with the nine mil in hand. Between how what? I came in through the Arcadia <laughs> door. Chris is like, you did what? What's an Arcadia <laughs> door? You know, sliding door. You know, a sliding door right there. It was in the bedroom. Didn't know that's what they were called. Sliding door, yes. Arcadian door, no. No, I yeah, never heard of it. Arizona. Yeah, there's going to be two. There's going to be two more. Is what he and says the, to her, and then they make their way. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll take the cranky one. Excuse me, which one is that? Zap! Oops. Time to zap. Dang. Yeah, it is time to zap. I'm gonna try and snatch uh, him off his hip. Okay. Rip it from the you, you, you do. Uh, you know we're gonna do. You can either do strength and force, or you can do agility and stealth. Okay, I think I'll go with agility and stealth. Okay. Is, 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 are we gonna do like um? um just gonna all pop off crazy, or are we gonna do this in some kind of order? Because I got, I, I got nine mil in hand, looking right at Ellen's head. Yeah, there, there will there there will be an order in a there will can't. be an order in a second. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Last we saw, you were going through the window, you punk ass bitch. <laughs> I can't. I went out the front door. You didn't see me go out the window. You, you said you went out the window. <laughs> no, I said I came in this door. I went out that door. 
that door right there, the front door. That's where I went up. That's that's not the what cop came in. I went down the hall to here. I'm gonna I'm and gonna he went down the hall to there. Okay, to where you guys are at. I snuck out the front door. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna clip the replay and show you where you said I, I went out the window. No, it came in the window. Came in back in this through here over there. So your window or a kind of door or whatever it is. Your seven is for trying to steal, right? That was your D10. Oh no no that wasn't me yet. Um, let me roll here. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Holy Maxim. crap. Okay. Damn it. I mean, yay. <laughs> you you pull the gun out as, as she sees you do it and and says, get him. And then that's when we'll do the initiative thing and we'll go from there. So he's a five. Remember, low is good for initiative. You go. Oh, Alan got a one. All right, initiative. Here we go. What am I rolling? 10? <laughs> it's D10, yep. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> when I don't want to roll high, there it is. <laughs> yeah. So Doctor gets a 10. Miss Karen gets a 3. And Dante gets a 6. So it's Ellen, the officer. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. nope. I'm, I'm a vegetable. Ellen, Karen, officer, Dante. Doctor. There we go. So Miss Ellen is going to see you uh, grabbing the gun, Doc, and she's going to try to pull it out of your hands. Yeah, I'm last because I have absolutely no experience with a gun. I don't even know to click off the safety. <laughs> I'm going to go with a B and a C because that's what it shows on her thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oof. So, how do we want to do this? So, she's going to hit you for the three. Uh, but she has three successes. So, we'll do one damage to you. But the other two are, are the fingers wrap around and pin your arms to the side. Yeah! Jellyfish hands! Jellyfish hands! But you will definitely take the one damage for it. All right. So you are you are you are held in place. And then we have Miss Karen next. Zap 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 of the I'm gonna zap the freaking policeman. Do 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 this and this, I think. Okay. Five and five. Nope. Uh and you had no stress to roll. Uh, we're going to have to give you guys more stress soon. But yeah, Doc, don't forget when you're rolling, you got to roll your two stress with it. Um, uh, cop tries to reach for his gun, which no longer exists. And instead pulls out a billy club. Or one of the uh, extending batons. Yep. Strength of B. His marksmanship is where he was at, so all he has is the B. No. Clacks it right off the, the uh, folding uh, closet doors. They're not even they're not even sliding closet doors or barn doors. They're they're just the standard folding ones. So that was him. Mr. Dante. An LA cop wouldn't have missed. They've got a lot of experience being up indigents. <laughs> okay, so I'm all wrapped up by this thing. No, no, no. Uh, the doctor is. Oh, the doctor is. Yeah, the doctor was trying to steal the gun. Ellen saw him trying to steal the gun and is like, nah, and wraps up. So uh, her hands are a little bit on the uh, occupied side, but not in the fun way. Mm. Uh, I'm going to, what's the classic rapper term for it? I don't know. You gonna bust a cap in that fool? Bust a cap in that ass? Yeah, that's what I'm right. Um, look, point blank, back of the head. Okay. Um, a burst of 
first thing is to move up to it, and then the second is going to be to try to shoot in the head. Got it. A, a burst of three. Okay. Because I'm going to take his head out after it goes through her head. Hmm. Boop, boop, boop. Now, what does burst do? Do you remember? Um, Uses up your ammo, damn it. That it does do. I was going to say that, too. You got to mark three of your ammo off. Mm -hmm. I don't remember how much how many uh rounds did you have? I know you I know you restocked, but I can't well, remember. It doesn't say on my sheet though for some reason. Standard mag probably has between eight and nine rounds. Uh, I, yeah. I know I know he bought some, but I know he couldn't get too many. So but yeah, I wanna I wanna get them both. So three round burst. Okay. Trying to get her health because you did it to her, correct? Yeah, going through the back of her head, trying to get everything is what you're hoping for. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's agility and marksmanship, right? Yes. Okay. Let me just give me a little bang. Bang. Oh, look at that. Nothing. Come on, from point blank, I get nothing. Can't help you. Maybe it jammed. Three shots. That's Maybe it jammed. Uh, you got you to clear it. Clear your jam. All right. So then it comes back to the doctor, who is kind of kind of in a snuggle. Uh, I'm going to. You can try to break out. You can try to well, do whatever you want, really. That's the beauty of it. Well, uh, I'm going to try, and even though my arms are pinned, I'm going to try and flex my wrist to, to point the gun at her and see if I can actually get it to fire. And hmm. Maybe um finally hits the, uh, the safety off and I can shoot. Okay. Uh, what would I need? Uh, just agility? That would be the agility marksman. And don't forget your two, uh, your two panic. Yeah, I uh, stress as, not as, I would not have any marksman skill, right? So we'll go with that and that. Hmm. Wow, so you hit for two. Okay, wow, I didn't see that coming. I didn't either, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, yeah. Neither did she. So she get she takes those two hits. Now she's still holding on to you, but when you when you do the shots, uh, the bullet strangely goes straight through easily, like with yeah, no resistance. It's going to be like shooting ballistic jelly, right? <laughs> and and You're like that, look, that, look, 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 that white stuff just goes flying everywhere. Ew. Mm -hmm. But thankfully, you know, you weren't behind her, so it just goes. It lands on the bed again. To be fair, that's what happens whenever I shoot off. <laughs> You're so gross. <laughs> oh, Lord. She did not like that, as you can imagine. Um, and, and gives an... Before. <laughs> she didn't tell me She's... I needed a condom. <laughs> I left that up to Ex her. Extra tight squeeze, being a C. I'm starting to feel like he might have known her before. You ever been to Ellen's <laughs> house, Doc? Have you been? So she she squeezes and, and crushes you for one. There's I, another damage to you. I, I do make house calls if the uh, if the ladies have the the right. He says trigger. through crushed, a crushing <laughs> chest yeah. cavity going there. Interrupt me! <laughs> hey. I make house calls. Rare. Entertaining. So much. And we're up to Miss Karen. I, I really think these guys are flammable. I'm just saying. I'm gonna try zapping <laughs> again. Like my okay. my cap serve to Karen. Like I'm just thinking, like, she's gonna set this bitch on fire while she's holding me. <laughs> yeah, I actually I will attack uh Ellen to see what happens. Because she's occupied. It. So And it's and it's not because he's hitting She's hitting uh, the doctor or tried to stab them earlier. It's the macaroons. Oh. <laughs> that, was the, that was the affront. Terrible macaroons, girl. <laughs> they, they, they must have given you indigestion because you missed. Yeah. 
Uh, you got another action, though. You get two, so. Unlike Dante, right. who's been eating I'm nothing. I'm going to swing the axe, then. Swinging the axe. Swinging the axe. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. Damn it. D20, you Yeah. <laughs> Roll 20. I told you to no. get hatchet. Roll no wants me to die this week. <laughs> I told her to get a hatchet. You can't swing an axe, man. Come on. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's right. And the, I helped them with their hysterics in the historical way. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, there is nothing I can do about this. Okay. Um uh, <laughs> No, what can you do? She just totally Yeah. Well, she to... probably hurt herself. That's what I was gonna say. One axe in the floor and can't get it out now. One and two is Karen, three and four is the doctor, five and six is Dante. Sorry, Dante. <laughs> it's the doctor. I am so sorry. I knew it was gonna be the doctor, of course. She's swinging an axe and somebody's hanging on to the doctor, so I was yeah, aiming it, for Ellen, and I missed. To to be fair, it will slice and and, and catch the doctor in the side. Um, I guess she, she just got confused with the with the cattle prod in in addition to it. But it does cut uh, the fingers off of uh, Miss Ellen. So so you are <laughs> oh, you, are, you are free, but you do take another damage for it. Ah! What are you down to? Because you got to get like oh, one left. Doctor, I need a doctor. Oh, that's right. I'm self medicated, but I've never self surgery. Oh. <laughs> Not yet. You are getting there. <laughs> All right. So we have uh, the cop next. Again, he was he would have gone for his gun if he still had it, but he has to just use no, I don't need you, I need you. Okay. Strength is B. So that's what he's doing. He's dropping a B on onto Miss Karen. Oh. Hits. What Crack, you cracks you for cracks you for one upside the uh upside the old cranium there. I just like this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then he's going to ooh, that's that's pulls out the handcuffs and and tries to subdue. Yes, he, oh, he gets wow. the hand, he gets a handcuff on Miss Karen and starts to spin her to put the other one on. Do you know who I am? <laughs> you you don't know who you are. What are you talking about? This is ridiculous. So, Mr. Dante, you just saw Karen getting arrested. I'm, I'm still, I'm putting, I'm, I'm, I'm dropping the, I'm dropping the gun back in the holster, and I'm going with the other weapon. I'm pulling out the bone saw. Okay. And, and I'm going to um, alleviate Ellen of her noggin, right hmm. below the chin. All right, give it the. Uh... Strength and melee, then. Strength and melee would be B and B. Here we go. That's two tens. Here we go. Make it happen. No. No. And no. But definitely. Oh. No. Oh. You start cutting and it gets stuck in the slime. I guess you must have had some still on your hands. And uh, no, it slips out. It falls to the floor. So all you've got left is your either the pistol or your bare hands. What are you going to do now? Oh, I still have an action? Yeah, you get two. Yes. Oh, well, uh, I guess I'm going to try and pick the bone saw back up. Okay, so that's your action is to pick the bone saw back up. Got uh, it. Doctor, you're finally free. Um, in an unconventional way, to be sure. Yeah, I might have tried to help Karen, but she just hit me with an axe, so I'm going to put my... I, you know, <laughs> I was trying to free you. It's not my fault. <laughs> Technically, she did free you, just in not Are the way you, you were thinking. Yeah, see? Well, Ellen... Ellen is at least wounded. Maybe we can finish her off before dealing with Officer Friendly here. Okay. 
And how are you finishing her off? I'm shooting her. I've got a gun. And and no. See, it's a good thing I didn't try and help you because I'd have just shot you. Hmm. Although I'm kind of regretting that I didn't now because that would have been fair. <laughs> so the 2D6, you got a 1 on a 2D6. You tried to roll your marksmanship, which is just a 1. So not only did you miss, but you panicked while missing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got so an like, ah! I'm like the Pulp Fiction guy is just like not even looking and shooting. <laughs> yeah. So give me a one d six, and then we're gonna add. Uh, we're we're gonna see what what you panic about. All right. So four. you got a four, but you rolled a one there. So give me another one. All right. <laughs> four five plus your two. That's a seven. Seven. You develop a nervous twitch. And every PC in the short range gets one stress. So that's Karen and Dante are also stretched out because he just started twitching like a like a maniac. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Just call me Barney Fife. Yep. She catches the attempt at the shot. Um, one hand has all the fingers cut off, so she's just going to try to uh, grab you around the throat with the other one. <laughs> no, 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 Yeah, good times. I mean, not not for you, I know, but B and a B, so that's two tens. The... According to the doctor. Oh, my God. So many I can't kill you. Ones. I mean, I don't want to kill you. Uh, well, I mean, we can't kill you either, so it's no. like this is just <laughs> one one is like ones for everybody today. Ones, ones all over the place. Ones yeah, she, you. you get a one. You. you get a one. Look under your chair. It's a one. Yeah, everybody gets a one. <laughs> She'll try to reach for him. Slips past into the closet. Gets tangled up in all the clothes. It's it's not pretty. Karen insults her for having a bad taste in, in a wardrobe, even though it's not her <laughs> house. She still throws one in there. And I think that hurts worse. Ha ha. Take that. So, her, so for her second action, she'll extract herself and stand up. Uh, and then Miss Karen, speaking to the devil. Yeah, I'm going to go after her with the axe. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm loving it. Oh my good lord. Uh I that's not don't take that. I rolled that wrong. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I totally pressed the wrong one. There we go. And don't forget your your one for your and stress. And then I get a stress. It, what what how just, just a D6. Just a D6. D6. Thank you. I was about to say, how do you roll digital right digital dice wrong? <laughs> because I pushed two D eight instead of a uh eight and a six. <laughs> so you, you do hit her for the one, so that is enough for Axe One right more. in the forehead, like down mm -hmm. the middle of the skull. Now, what does the axe do for the damage again? Do you have it on hand? The damage is two. One or two. Yeah, it's that's two. what I thought. It, the axe it has a two. bonus of one. It says one bonus and two damage. Okay. Good, good, good. Excellent. So, yeah, you managed to uh, split the wig, as they say. And, yes. and, and the white goo just flows all over. Uh, See, these aren't even human. Kill away, boys. You have another action yet. So I'm going to turn around and axe at the police officer. Okay. Swing again. And fail. <laughs> and don't forget your panic. And panic. I mean, yay. Yeah, at least I didn't forget who I was. Right, right. That would have been awkward. Amnesia in the middle of a fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nope, nope. You, it must have still been slippery from coming out of Miss Ellen's face, and and uh, you 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 take out the the slide the folding doors, which gives you a a moral victory for, for decorations. Kill that closet. <laughs> is exactly. is if Karen gets amnesia when she throws out her typical like, do you know who I am? It's actually a legitimate question for a change. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Do you know who I am? Because I don't. I, don't, I have no idea. 
So the cop is going to, that's what it was, because he had the one uh, handcuff on you. So he's yeah. going to try to get the other one on you. Go ahead. Yep. You're going to roll so, a one. A B. So here, go. Oh, come on, dice roller. One. Oh, Nine. shit. You are <laughs> handcuffed. Oh. You can still swing. I'll just you, use two you, hands. You are cuffed. How uh, he's dare gonna, you touch He's going to use the way. other He's going to use the other. Shoves you to the ground. You are sitting in the closet right next to a slimy cut open head person. I really, really dislike this. I would like to speak to your manager. I, I, this is unacceptable behavior. Kill him. Mr. Dante? Um, um, yeah. Off We're going to like move in, drop, drop, drop the bone saw on the, Right above the collarbone on the right side. Okay. Well, you didn't go for the jugular. So Move once again, aorta. we are going to roll a B and a B, and we're going to try not to roll a one and a three. <laughs> well, there's, there's the a three. three. Damn it. There's another, another three. three, and your D six for your for your stress. I didn't know I had a stress. Yeah, both of you did. Yep. Okay. From his twitch. All right, so no, you, you must have uh, stumbled on some slime or something because you, you just whiff on by. Yeah, I haven't and hit anything yet. I'm no, it's not been your day. Doctor? Quite adequate. Quite. Yeah, um, I am going to try and put <laughs> bullets in the bag. Um, as, as I'm <laughs> twitching, kind of like making inarticulate noises. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like one of the three stooges. <laughs> so we'll roll the stress. That's your marksman. Yep. Okay. So you didn't panic. Um, that's your marksman. I don't have marksman. I'm a doctor. Gotcha. Just agility. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So so no, your sh your shot goes wide. Uh, but you got another action. Uh, I'll try and shoot him again. Sounds good. <laughs> Oh no, dice That's a today. Cavalcade of twos. No, I mean <laughs> you take out not... you take out I'm, a tacky poster really on the wall. All fiction. I am shooting everything but the guy right in front of me. Yep. He's probably looking You're back a storm at stormtrooper. No how. <laughs> yeah, really. And it was really funny when only stormtroopers are this accurate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They've and yeah. they never hit. That's how they started the whole thing. Yep. That's how they started the whole thing with Obi Wan telling Luke, oh, "Only Imperial stormtroopers are this precise." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> I guess so, only ones on Tatooine. <laughs> yeah. It's fine as long as you don't have plot armor, because they had no trouble uh, shooting all the rebels on that uh, on that uh, uh, blockade runner. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ice planet. They had no problem. Yeah. So, Miss Karen, you're you're uh, on your butt in a closet. What are you going to do? I'm disgruntled. You are <laughs> indeed. I'm going to spit at somebody. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to spit at the cop. Well, it's going to oh. do nothing. Blah! Pretty much. <laughs> Go ahead. Say... You have a marksman just to see if you spit on yourself. <laughs> Just gonna hit the back of the doctor's head. I know it. <laughs> I know that's what I was thinking. <laughs> right oh, in the eye. eye. Yeah, you are accurate. Miss, <laughs> Miss, that, that's Miss typical, Miss. Karen. Accurate with the spit. Yeah, yeah. And she is. She go, is stop giving him ideas, man. I'm gonna spit at him in the eye. I'm gonna say, "You guys better let me out of these cuffs immediately." <laughs> no one cuffs me. No one. <laughs> She My was fine Lord. seeing everything else, but but clothes from LL Bean. No, yeah, that's I'm, too much gonna, I'm gonna launch myself over me? this way out of the closet too. Is Karen touching the tacky clothes? Does that give her stress? <laughs> no, I'm leaving the closet. All I'm right, gonna, so for I'm your gonna second clamber one? out and stand up as my second my second action. I'll just stand. All up. right, give. Let's see, agility and mobility to see how well you do that. Agility. 
immobility to <laughs> you stumble and, and you fall into the corner it's not graceful all right so i'm not standing is what you're saying no god no no all right all right so the cop lame uh, you're already you're already captured he let's see you're you're in the closet uh, let's see if Dante can take a baton upside the Nugent. <clears throat> and his was, if I remember correctly. Yeah, yeah, that that's a shot upside upside Dante. Uh, take one. Dante never gets a chance to block or dodge. I mean, I well, you think... can block if you save an action uh, from turn to turn. Mm. So if you don't use both of your actions, you would have had an opportunity to block. Mm. But hitting you there spins you around, and he's going to try zip ties. He gets one zip tie around one hand, and you all you feel is zip, you feel it tighten. And oh Mr. Option. Dante's next. Yes. <coughs> <coughs> Come on, Dante. You got to start making these rolls. You cannot leave it up to me. I am not doing diddly. <laughs> Cone saw to the neck again. Okay. Okay, so you don't panic, but you do hit. Uh, and the bone saw was how much? Uh, two. Is it was two? it two? No, it's one. That's That's what I thought. Okay. One plus right. one bonus. Yeah. The one bonus means you can roll a die higher. So uh, if you want to roll like a D on your on your on your melee, you can. My melee is a B. Your melee is a B? What's your strength? A B. So you should have rolled two D10s. That's what you, I did. And give me one more for that stress that you had, a D6. That's okay. And instead of rolling a D10 for one of them, you could roll a D12. Because that's what the bonus one does, is it increase. Oh, so you got two hits. So that's two damage instead of just one. See? That's what that does for you. Okay. All right, so yeah, he doesn't like that so much. Um, taking a bone saw to the throat. Uh, so you that's see, action one, right? Yes. And you see the white blood-ish stuff start pouring out. And, and he, he doesn't actually react like pain-ish kind of thing. He just looks angrier. Okay, so I got him in the neck. I got one action. I want to sweep down on the hand with holding on to the zip tie, the one that's got my other hand, right? Okay. Okay. I want to lock that hand off. We'll see what happens. There'll be the That's strength, a and there'll and be then, melee, and there'll be the stretch. Oh shit! Okay, so you are gonna you are gonna hit him for two more, right? Uh, which is enough to not only cut the hand off, but it, then that white stuff just starts pouring out. And, and he falls. But you are going to then give me another D6 to see what kind of panicking you do. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Panicking. You'll, yeah. Horrible panicking. Oh. No, no, that's okay. Lower is better on the panic. Uh, you, managed, you managed to keep it together, but barely. Well, this is just day of the ones. The dude's just puking white shit all over me, and it's sad. That's what you say. Yeah, yeah. He he's he's definitely spewing all the white stuff on you, and you're like, I've been here before. What's up, devil's there? Hmm. And no, it's Karen right now. She's Karen. <laughs> it's 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 the it's the zone. So these two are gone. Um, they right. they've been successfully eliminated. So I have like. Hey, before they go, someone needs to yeah. get those keys. I need I need to be uncuffed here. Yeah, taking taking the keys off his belt plus any extra magazines he might have for this weapon. 
Okay. We'll and say he had, he had one extra there, so that'll give you uh, seven plus the seven he had. That, that's 14 bullets. If you want to write that down for when I do the character sheet, I'll put it in here too. Oh, yeah. And it's the Double standard. There, what did I do? <laughs> so I missed. He's in the comments. He's like, hi, Pops and Karen. Sorry, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> um. I'll make it 11 because I fired off three shots during the combat. Well, the only time you use bullets in this game is if you're doing like the burst or if you fail. Oh, okay. otherwise, otherwise we don't track ammo. Nice. Yeah. So that's like when he did a three round burst, well, that's going to cost you three bullets. Um, but if. Yeah, I, I don't think I got the, um, the PDF of the, uh, the game book. So I need to go. Really? Over that. Okay, uh, send me your email and stuff after, and then and then I'll make sure to get it off to you. Okie dokie. So, yeah, you finished up in here. Now, the doctor did pick up the keys, but he never said he unlocked her. Hello? Hello? I'm, I'm weighing it. I'm weighing it. <laughs> if only they had gags too oh i can still hear you you know maybe this lady's freaky maybe she's got a maybe she's got her own fuzzy just, handcuff just, ball just gag in her somewhere. uncuff me she could be one of them you don't know we are looking at washing the slime off myself up over in here yeah Oh, in the good bathroom, not the other one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she could be one of those things. I mean, she wanted to keep coming into this house. I don't Can know. You please uncuff me. But they did they did attack her too. I yeah, let her go, dude. that one. Let her loose. Quit fucking with her. <laughs> it, Are I'm, you in I'm the not... jacuzzi? This what? is this is legitimate. <laughs> Uh, all right, I'll I'll uncuff. Thank you, Miss Karen Needlemeyer the third. Blah 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 blah. Whatever the hell else. It Close was. Close enough. Just un uncuff me. I'll <laughs> let it slide this time. But only because you've done your job. <laughs> all right, now I'm going in the kitchen looking for a knife to cut this stupid thing off my wrist. Sure, yeah, you can find that pretty easily enough. Steak knives and all that. Mm -hmm. Cut the zip tie off me, stupid freaking fake cop. <laughs> um, yeah, as, as you two are standing here in this room, now I moved the tokens, don't get me wrong, but mm -hmm. um, you want un you uncuff her. What do you do with the cuffs? And I shouldn't ask that, I know I should let you. Oh, no, I'm, I'm gonna keep them too. You never know. But you see those bodies just, you know, there's the miracle ladies out there who we need assistance, <laughs> mm -hmm. or at least there there used to be back in L.A. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so they melt. Do those Aunt Tilly better than he's letting on. I know, right? I but like, these two. I like Revealing that the doctor was actually into a, like a lot of weird Hollywood stuff. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, we figured like, that he's from Hollywood. You didn't have to go. You didn't. We already figured that. No, this is a, this a, a like, standing what? invitation to Bohemian Grove. Doctor. And then it, it turns out I was a plastic surgeon. Then it turns out I was a plastic surgeon to the stars. Then it turns out I was a plastic surgeon to the stars with a serious drug problem who botched some jobs. Then it turned out I was involved in like some Illuminati level shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to cover one eye, right? Yeah. I just know that you have a you you have just as good a drug collection as I do. That's all I know. In uh, different forms. In di he used to until his house was gone. Well, I used to. Yeah. Uh, I I don't have access to the good stuff anymore. Right. We'll see. It we'll might. See. I used to get the purest Bolivian, like you just would not believe. Pink flake, huh? Just crumbled. Hmm. Yeah, I know what you're talking. But those bodies dissolve and they start oozing closer to your feet. Oh, 
Oh, oh, let's out. go. Let's go. Time to go. Out of there. Wait, Dante. What? Can we see if they light on fire? You can do whatever you wish, my friend. Can I I'm borrow your in lighter, the room. John? What are you asking Where me are for? Because you? Uh, you have the lighter. I don't have a lighter. Where are you? There is a stove. Here. Hey, can um, I'm not going to touch it and put it to the show. Can I borrow your lighter for just a second? No, no, no. Don't you know how to do this? Just go over there and turn the gas on in the stove. There's a fence over here with the pile light. We'll be long gone when this place goes up. <laughs> oh, my God. He, she wants to see if they catch fire. She wants to see this for herself. I'm not trying to burn the house down. Hey, man, well, if what do you think's going to happen? House, if, what What do you think's going to happen if that white stuff is highly flammable? We're going to run out the front door, and then the house burns itself down. I'm I'm gonna stand on the porch. Here's my lighter. You thank you. you. Carry on. Okay. Are you going <laughs> to witness, Mister Doctor, or what are we doing? You know, for the sake of science, why not? All right, I'm gonna try and light the body on fire. Hold up, now. Are... hold up now. Is what between one and ten? What's flammable? Well, that's what we're gonna get at. How how are you doing this? I'm gonna exactly. try and light exactly. Ellen's hair on fire. So you're just going up right next to it with a lighter. Got it. Okay. I mean, yeah. what else would Karen do? <laughs> I know. I'm. I gotta check. I gotta check. If it so doesn't have, light, she'll try something else. Either agility and mobility or agility and stealth. Agility and stealth. We'll do that one. Agility See how carefully you do this. Stealth. <laughs> oh, another one. Uh, okay. Roll, Don't forget roll, your panic. Roll 20 is just... Oh, <laughs> oh my God. And your panic. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So it, it goes up in a conflagration of flames and it's just Woo! all over. Yeah. You're gonna take you're gonna take uh, one point of eyebrow damage because you don't have those anymore. Okay, I don't need eyebrows, it's good. Okay. Yeah. And, and um Mr. Doctor, I, we should go. You lost Dante's favorite lighter. Oh well, time to go. Let's go. This this room is now engulfed. Come on, we're leaving now. The doctor's actually running after her, talking about her eyebrows. Like, you know, I can <laughs> actually fix that. It's just a minor hair transplant. Thank you. Uh, Let's go. Dante. Um, Where's my lighter? I, I owe you a new lighter. Let's go. <clears throat> but I, I, What's I, going I on? What'd you do? I'm going home. La, 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 la. I never you thought I'd have to her bring house on la, la, See, you should have just la, let la. me blow it up. What's I'm wrong going with over you? To the, what are you doing? You you should have just let me blow the house up. What's wrong? Blow with it you? up. Let's go. Now is I know for certain it was for science. Man, you know what? Screw that. I went out the back way. I'm I'm ditching down this way. I'm not being seen it's out fun. on the street in front of a burning house. No, no. I'm in no. the bed and breakfast. Yeah, yeah no, my... why you come out the front door, not me, not me. Was the was the police <laughs> truck out the front? No, I well, yes, the car was still there. Whoops, shoot, I moved the map. I'm sorry. Okay, I was wondering about that because, like, I did, I did throw it out of gear, so I was like, the transmission should have been shot. I wondered if, like, these two clones had run back to the house or what. Yeah, they would. They they were on foot. I thought you meant down where it was still okay, so uh, way back into town. Yeah, it's not outside this house. It's is is the officer the original officer's body in the car by any chance? Don't know. We'll have to find out. But if you want to walk down and, and check that out, you can feel free to do it. Yeah, I do. I'm on the balcony smoking weed. <laughs> I'm on the balcony because I smell like smoke. Plus, I've, right? I've, I've I'm still smoking. I've taken everything. House. I've taken everything that was useful off the police officer. So maybe I have the keys to unlock that shotgun now. So give a wits and observation. It's an observation. All right. Gonna keep rolling ones today. I was wondering yeah. the same. Yeah. Uh, you don't see anything special, um, but you know you do notice the cop is gone, and yes, the gun is still there. Uh, let's see. Can I see if I've got a key to unlock it? 
Sure, 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 sure. Check your insight to see if you notice. Well, or you can just try the keys. All right, I'll just and search for keys and see if there's shuffle through them keys. That key range, see what you find. Give me high or low. Um, let's go with low this time. So you want keys. low, so if we're high, you're about to get buzzed by another cop. Oh shit! <laughs> nope, you got away with it. You got away with it. Okay. So you 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 take that shotgun, which is a nice twelve gauge. I'll get you the stats when we do your character sheet, and uh, three shells, and there you go. All right, I will uh, I will take off my my jacket because, like any true professional, I'm always wearing like button up shirt, a tie, and a blazer, and I just mm -hmm. wrap the gun up in it because I don't have the long coat like Dante to hide stuff in. Right. So I'm you just, have to... just carrying a rather suspiciously bundled blazer. Yeah, Doc, we we'll take this bone saw and we'll saw that fucker down. <laughs> a, a bone saw won't. It, it's, no, it's it wouldn't. It wouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a nice thought. It was a we nice switch, thought. So we can switch blades it, on it. it. It's totally in the name, bone saw. We 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 can switch bone a blade. Saw is blade. ready. It can be a hacksaw with just a switch of a blade, right? <laughs> not not quite. That's not how they work. But. There's a hard way. That, that's where I ditched you guys last night. I mean, uh, where I lost you last night. Went off on your own. I didn't ditch you. Nope, not at all. Completely You're the one that woke up in a strange bed. Don't talk to us, dude. I mean, it's not the first time, but not in the way not in the way I just... It doesn't sound like the way I meant it. Or, no, I, I don't I even know. I woke up on the floor. I woke up getting dumped out of a fucking hammock. That's how I woke up. So, you know. Speak, and you're on the same balcony. <laughs> I didn't have anything to do with any of that. Never. No, of course Complete, not. Complete innocence. Yes. So Absolutely. you get back here and, and the ant has, you know, a standard spread of food ready for you. Uh, so, Doc, you came in here? Yep. I mean, because I... For the moment, the doctor is rather resigned that he's stuck with these people because they're the only people he knows in town aren't going to turn into gelatinous monsters. So far. So far. So Aunt Tilly says, sure, we have enough rooms for everybody. Um, wh what have you been up to? You smell like smoke. And not oh, in yeah. his normal way. Uh... It's habit, and I've been trying to quit. I had a hypnotherapist before. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm lying. I just, I just panic <laughs> lot. Yeah. We got to get rid of her. You two are out here on the balcony. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm getting rid of that stress. I'm de-stressing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. yeah. I'm going to pull off the one last eyebrow that's still hanging on. And, and my head hurts, man. My head hurts. I would think so after what you guys have been through. I got smacked twice. Once with the soap dispenser and one, one with the damn baton. Mm -hmm. I, I totally if I've, if I've wrapped, I have to keep the wrapped up shotgun pressed to my side so Aunt Tilly doesn't see the blood on my shirt. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm going to need to soap. <laughs> no world. Okay. Um, but yeah, so she's I I don't know what you guys have done, but get yourselves cleaned up before you get any mess in my place. I thought you would have known better, Karen. Uh I uh was just um at a barbecue. What's it that was... white stuff all over you, Karen? I already washed that off. Shut up. Um <laughs> is it in my hair? <laughs> yes. No. I need to go shower. Uh, and and Mil Tilly, I'm gonna go shower. Cool. Thank you. Okay, that's great. Miss Miss Tilly, do you happen to have a sewing kit? I I found a, a run in my my jacket here. I need to repair. <laughs> Which bathroom? She's just running from one bathroom. To uh, there was no shower in there. <laughs> <laughs> she will find a shower sooner or later. Will. You just hear. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm shower. sure that one shower and a bed and breakfast. What the hell is what? Mm. Half bath, Goodness. outer bath. I don't know. Maybe mm -hmm. it's all the tubs. Yeah. But yeah, you can you can find some kind of a sewing kit. 
I'm yeah, sure she'd I'm... have something around. Get my my own repairs. I guess I'll have to wait on Karen to get out of the out of the tub because I'll need that. I want to do my surgery in there so I don't bleed all over the floor. Mm -hmm. What in the hell? <coughs> <laughs> Pops is self medicating. Yeah, new mayo based health treatment. <laughs> it will keep you younger. It will keep you younger. Or somebody. But, um, you know, so yeah. seen that movie Cocoon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really. Just saying. I don't know. All who's right. Trying to so, whoever yeah. is in Wisconsin trying to call me, sorry. Not sorry. Um, but we'll call it here for today. And you guys are going to crash overnight, I would take it, or whatever you're going to do. But if you do sleep, heal up one of the stress and one of the health. Okay. And we'll go from there. Good to know. Okay. Then I'm back. I need an now. eraser. I got it. Now I got it. And yeah. as you're trying to lay down, you do hear uh, fire trucks drive by. Um, Karen whistles, whistles. Yeah. <laughs> and Tilly's like, I wonder what's going on now. It's so much activity today. Don't look. Okay, I'm down to six rounds, right? Okay. Probably yeah, you had, no, you had nine, used three. Yep. Okay. Probably absolutely nothing unusual at all. No. No, this, don't look. That's the whole reason I chose this quaint, sleepy little town is like, it's a place where nothing happens, even though it killed me in my soul from where I used to come from. Mm -hmm. But I need an And Tilly walks outside and looks up the street. There's a fire. And that's where so we're going to stop. Or else I'd keep going all day, but it is three hours almost we've been here. It, it, oh, it's, wow. pro it's probably a mostly peaceful protest. Exactly. Mostly peaceful. But I'm dang, something's from. burning. <laughs> huh? I never saw a pretty woman. I said, dang, never. something's burning. I'm in my bedroom sleeping. I didn't remember. <laughs> yep. I'm going to hit the hammock. Good night, Doc. Right. I'm going to be over here stitching myself. So I... mm -hmm. so I'm sure. on my head. Um, Karen, do not wake me up in the morning. Do not. Just don't. I'm <laughs> sleeping. I can't hear you. <laughs> For Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Hello. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, everybody. All right. I'll All see you. Uh, tonight we got some uh, creative chaos with the Flip City. Titty Flips from the Flip City magazine. Tonight, More tech. Uh, um, <laughs> and you never know what could happen between now and then, people. You, you just never know. Hey. <laughs> Have a good day, yo. <laughs> Bye, everybody. The future. The final frontier. It has never been so uncertain as now. AI, VR, haptic wear, nanotechnology. Mass destruction with a remote click. Now we are finally seeing the true potential and dangers of an ever-connected and overly policed hyper-technological world. Have we finally become the architect of our own demise? Is there still hope? Welcome to the future. Welcome to Punk Droid.
glamorized and embraced by Hollywood, feared in the underworld. Benjamin Bugsy Siegel was one of the most powerful men in America. He was also one of the most hated. The man who gave birth to Las Vegas was gunned down in the luxurious home of his glamorous lover. Almost 80 years later, his murder remains unsolved. Who killed Bugsy? I need to take the edge off. I tripped my little ass right on down to Harbor Farms on 131 in Three Rivers, Michigan. Get all your flowers, gummalummies, pre rolls, even sugar shots. Man, look, this is the place I go if you're in Southwest Michigan. Check out Harbor Farms, man. Look at all kinds of cool stuff. You'll love it. Peace. How do you end this thing? How do you put the where there was the brakes on this bus? I forgot. Jazz hands. Jazz hands are good. Good night.